thing, but talking about Rema, what do you guys think about this whole Rema smoking brand hmm. thing? That people are saying he's forcing it, and some people think that he's just trying to do it for conversation. I think it's more of personality than brand. I think he's building a persona. He's trying to become. I think he's become more adult, and he needs to do something that convey that adulthood. And you know stuff that maybe he wouldn't necessarily do when he was 21, 20. He's becoming more grown now and he wants to grow and stuff. And I think the smoking part is, is a is part of it. Like and I don't know if he smokes marijuana or stuff. You see other guys come out with marijuana a lot, smoking yeah. public, but I don't think I don't know if he's in that he's no mention that names, please, yeah, I no, definitely. I don't like to see that as branded that maybe he's trying to build, build like a roll out stuff. I think he just kind of like trivialized whatever he's trying to do. And I think he's maybe going through something. I don't know. Like when I look at him, I, I genuinely help you go through anything. I mean, there can be a coping yeah, mechanism. Yeah, just be a coping mechanism. I really do hope he's doing okay because it bothers me every time with the cigarette and he's always drawing it and it's always like, like some <laughs> some it appears like okay, why are you always now into the cigarette? Thing? Like there are people we know that this is their thing. They're always smoking, but you it has never been your thing. So if I thought you did it, it was indoors. So why are you now? stepping out like you're coming out like i smoke and i need your guys to know i smoke and it's really i, I think it's disturbing i actually do hope it's fine because it's 24 and it's <coughs> don't see that 24 that might be unprecedented people at his age before him the stars before him they are nobody at, at nobody nobody at 24 like, did has done was romance yeah. has done yeah nobody's making yeah. the kind of money, money he's making when they were 24. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> stealing stealing jimmy's jimmy style yeah. mamas and papas boys and girls sorry welcome to another episode of the greatest <laughs> you're not tuning to the greatest yeah. of all time you should be moonlighting as a as, as, as an man you, you go you go pay me yeah, people will pay you nah fuck that <laughs> The number one podcast on the planet. Fuck Joe Rogan. <laughs> Fuck Color Daddy. Fuck Joe Budden. Don't call Who the else? woman's name. <laughs> Don't call the woman's name. Which one is that? Any female podcaster. I I call her daddy is the female podcaster. Okay. Call, Fuck Color Daddy. Alright, cool. Woke. When will people come for you? <laughs> Let me finish my intro now. The Zero Conditions podcast is back tonight. Yes, yes, yo. Sadly, Melody's a wall, mm -hmm. not the label, but the music company. Melody's having fun. Yeah, she don't slime me now. We don't yeah, care. She's having fun. Are you me? Me Mel Mel Melody is a fucking. Everybody, Stella, I said this. Like if she comes back into the into this country without gifts, without giving away for you guys, that she needs to apologize on the next episode. She's in South Africa with Spotify, whatever, right? Having so much fun at my melody. Oh, women supporting women. <laughs> Fuck that. And on this episode, I have two eminent personalities. Eminent, let's get it. First, <laughs> Mr. Fax only. And that's... And that's facts. And that's facts only. Absolutely no time. Yeah, that's facts only. And number two. No. The woman cannot be number two. No, I'm number two. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Last but not least. Yeah. No, you're not last. Let me find a name for you. Woman Commando. Yeah, woman. Shout out. 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 APC, CDC, <laughs> what, Plido, Abego, LPC, <laughs> take out GCFR, all, Abe, take MFR, take out all of that, please. H I mm -mm. Just woman commando, Max FM, TVC. You're offended by that APC. I'm so like offended, please. <laughs> <laughs> let's, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. I would have been offended myself. How are you guys doing? I'm grand, I'm good. Great, good to, I'm good to be great. here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just coming from um, hanging out with the good people of Google. Okay. Had so much champagne. Oh, no wonder you don't uh, know you're drinking. Yeah, I just, I just, I just also finished hanging out with the good people of Pulse. <laughs> clocked in, clocked in a fruitful nine to five. <laughs> Left before five. I'm on leave. I'm on holiday. So yeah, yeah, you know, great clocked in for my daily two k. I love that. Looking at it, uh, it's nearly month end, so I need to, you know. It's nearly month end. 
put that last shift, forget that last. Yeah. <laughs> wait, is it just me or like June was financially stressful? I know Motola can never. <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Even me, I claim it. Even me, I claim it. I mean, they say something, but I claim it. What do you mean by financially stressful? What does that look like? Like, the bills are more than the money that you have. Like, you have to pay for your rent, you have to like so now you're you know i can't wait to get to this stage of adulting where i'm not calculating like um, calculating yeah, for people that go to the calculator you know you have what i'm waiting for that boy sink dangote dangote see no i don't think i don't think dangote calculates like i do before i buy yeah, you're anything, not before now. i buy anything i'm like is this worth it should i do should i i must do more mental math first and it's so let annoying let me tell you something that's going to help you today what have you had shiva's xv xv before hmm. I have. Okay. But you've never had it in the studio, have you? I've never had it. <laughs> so what will this do for me? No, At least no I won't worry, calculate no for I, the I next two hours. Worry, no. Take him. Don't worry. Don't worry. Take him. Take him. Don't worry. You just open your bank up and you just be smiling. You won't understand why. Because of Shiva's here. You see zero start ah. and actually not there. Just be happy. <laughs> you understand? You just be chill. You'll be buzzing. Please, I don't do um, such escapism. Shout out to our sponsors. Thanks for blessing us this season. Our loyal. This episode was brought to you by the one and only Shivers Rigo. Shout out Shivers. Shout out Shivers. Clapping for you guys. Uh, Adele, you better, you, you're you about to <laughs> clap. Oh. I just said shout out Shivers now. Clap. 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 Shout out Shivers. Shout out Shivers. Shout out Shivers. You have to align, you know. Someone has got to pick some call somewhere. Shivers, you know, your time is call me. <laughs> Shivers, call me too. <laughs> I have some shows that you should sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Plug. So what I uh, what did you say? You, you were complaining about June, but I feel like that boy said Dango is still pay money. That's not a lie. See, you know, there's you know <laughs> if the guy don't find money, no go for your family. Real, mm-hmm. no doubt. However, you can't when I'm complaining about money, please don't mention Dango Can't even mention you, you're mentioning Dango so you, Why think, you, going you, think, that far? you think I'm in those realms? <laughs> Why are you going that far? You think I'm in those realms? You are sure not on my realm. <laughs> I I say amen that I'm in Dangote's realm. I claim it. No, you are not the there yet. You are not. You are not in Dangote's realm. How do you yet. know? We know you. You don't see my bank account. We know say you never reach there. Ah, see this. Even Bonaparte never reached Dangote's realm. You might be, be a silent billionaire. You, you are know, like all those me. billionaires in Alaba Market that are richer than Dangote. You know what say? Yeah, billionaires in the labor market on an area area market. Whatever, each other makes, whatever makes those guys feel good. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah Today's uh, New Music Friday. Yeah. yeah shout out yeah. to Afrobeats, man. God bless Afrobeats. Shout Today's Afrobeats. one of the best music, maybe the best music Friday, Friday yet this year. Yeah, this Since year. I eaten up. Um, there was one earlier in the year that was, I think, February. That was very good as well. Mm-hmm. Um, what's sorry? What's so special about the aside stubborn album that just? I should get dropped the. I should get. Okay, I should okay, get back. Yeah, Majestic, Majestic, Majestic is still. Rema and Charlie Pop is. Yeah, uh, Beanie Boys. Um, okay, let's talk about Odussi that drop, song. Odussi drop an album. Shout out to Odussi. I don't listen to Odussi. I've not listened to Odussi. Yeah, listen to Odussi. yeah I've not. I've, I've had a couple of songs, but I've not like set it down. I'm a huge fan of Odussi. You guys, what do you think about? Logo drop the song. Yeah. What do you guys think about Rema and Charlie Pop? The song? song. Yeah, the song. I, I don't know. What do I think about the song? I think the song doesn't live up to its moment okay yeah so that's just me like when you expect oh when you anticipate a charlie poppy rema song you expect uh, fireworks i'm sorry i just i didn't get fireworks i get who, who, who are you expecting because i think that that's what that's uh, that song it was it was it's it's like rema didn't remember from from Re, uh, ravage ep was on fire it was he was just going at it, you know, just bustling, just giving them the flow, saying, I am in. Like, I dare you guys which to see otherwise. Yeah, which he is, right? Then, like, there's this energy to it. He had something to say. Like, he was giving us straight up. This one feels like something from the archive. Something you already recorded, just like toasted, and just felt like, okay, I think I should bring this back. Shadi Poppy will sound good on this. Then Shadi Poppy put a verse on it. Like, when I take them apart, like, when I weigh their... Yeah, verses, it just doesn't live up to what I would expect from them. Now, let's talk about Charlie Poppy's verse. He has been on a commendable run of features recently. Most notably, the one on on Ludo, on Victoria's album. Nah, he, he went in. He went in. He I, did? Yeah, he did. He did. He went in. Then he did very well on King Promises' song, too. Yeah, that was I, yeah, I think I think he did well there. And someone teased on Twitter, I saw 
uh, 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 this thing, a teaser of a remix for for the Tala Tala ICU's. Uh, Tala MC, ICU. Yeah, is it Iku? I call it Iku. I mean, I call him Tala ICU. I don't know intensive ICU care. ICU just sounds like yeah. a hospital. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the MNK. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, and then Luigi and Charlie Nika. copy on it. Nika. Ah, only MNK. Is it MNK? Oh, my Yoruba. That's why I call it. <laughs> it's not MNK. Most of Africa now. <laughs> But but the song literally, what's literally, Nika? Literally, the song literally says Nika. MDK. No, no, the song literally says Nika. Yeah, Is that what they're saying? Nika. Yeah, Nika. Uh, do I know that's what they're spelling? Nika. Well, you're Nigerian, so it's I don't know, but shout out to Tyler I see you. And shout out to this, we're talking about South Africa. Shout out to Young Stoner. That guy Young is, is very he's one of the finest guys on the guy. planet right now. Very, very dope. I'm so crazy about his music. I don't like, even know him. People, people are check obsessed him with him. People are check him out. There's a guy that was driven about Young Stoner I mentioned some days ago. That guy's crazy. And I was like... Oh, well, are you are you new? Yeah, like like I think I first I think I, I knew from Adi Willie I was not like yeah. Yeah, I think it was okay. This is good, this is good. Daga, when daga, I heard daga, him was City, when I first heard City, right? I, I, man, I was this guy's um Kill. Kill's album, the one he dropped it in yeah. two. Like okay, it is good. This like it's Afrobeat. Okay, I like this. And I was not hearing one part. I was like, the fuck was this person? I had to go check the video to be sure it was Young Stoner. And it was Young Stoner. Okay, oh my I'm god. Sold. I want then to he now went on Kavza and out. did crazy on Imitanda. Yeah, yeah Imitanda Zo. Yeah. But, but before yeah, we move on to appreciate the South African guy, not just why you think Reman Shadi was a good record. Um, I had the record before I dropped, obviously. But <laughs> So um, that's why you think it's a good no, record? No, 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 no. And I like guy. the beat. I think the production <laughs> is very up-tempo. We've been getting a lot of mid-tempo songs this year. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very up-tempo. I think it's club-worthy. And I think it's giving Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce and Shakira. Yeah, I mean, it's the moment. vibe. The vibe, so it's commemorating the moment. Yeah. Okay. And documenting what it is that the culture is, right? from a particular place even though they didn't exactly underscore it on the song yeah. i mean a lot of people would have probably wanted to hear more of that the being inside of the song yeah. calling the Benny boy but i i felt like the song rema on his on um ravi gp was more on the i'm the guy it was a flossing project right from the first if you hear the first line on dnd you just know that he, he's trying to say i am the guy i don't need the charts to be the guy we i know. am the guy right but this one it just felt it felt like what it did on crayon's um song baby you too correct oh, you too correct i did in 2021 2020 i can't remember but that's crayon sophomore ep so the up tempo i had not heard like dnd is up tempo but it's not this up tempo i think it's fast i think i was i think this is faster right yeah i'm not sure i think Benny boys is faster Benny, Benny, Benny boys, boys and faster. Uh, what's the song on on the Ravage EP, the one that DND. I used to like. No, DND. Red Potion. Red Potion is Red slow. Potion. It's slow now. That's slow. Bomb shorty for gun shot. Yeah. 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 That song is sexy yeah. as fuck. Like, can't you see the way I It's move? sexy. Yeah, it's not sexy. Yeah, no, bro, okay. bro, let me tell you. Do you know the parts that that, that, that caught my head on that? Remember I said, your, your, your low waist put me for headlock. I don't, What's like, headlock? What? Headlock. When you put your... Your, your head, your, your hand, your like hand, and you lock the person's head. Like yeah, so he's oh, so talking about how. That's that's yeah, that's a headlock. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, Louis. I Louis put you for headlock. Ah. What was your head doing there? Bro? Ah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Talking about talking about Rema still talking about. So Rema. I, I, um, so I, I thought, and then Charlie Poppy did well on the song. I think Charlie Poppy did okay. See, when I um, heard the song, okay. truthfully, the first thing that I thought was. I'm a huge Rema fan, yeah. huge. So the first thing that I thought was, mm, maybe not for me, because I'm not the biggest Charlie Poppy yeah. person. But then I remembered uh, the conversation that you guys had on this show oh, what was the conversation? with AOT, where you were saying that for a while, you guys were saying on the show, like, I don't know if you listened, that they yeah, were saying that for a while, like, we've not had an actual club banger. Yeah, club exactly. Yeah. So when I heard it, I was like, okay, this just it's a club song. You, yeah, it's a just club maybe song. when I'm in the club, I would feel Yeah, it's it a better. club song. It's a yeah. club song. If I hear it at... So, my judge... The, the way I judge, like, certain pop songs, especially if I, if I know that they're meant for the clubs, is if I hear it at 2 a.m. in a club in Joburg, am I going to like it? 
So there are a lot of songs that I don't necessarily like. But if I, if you, I don't, I'm not a club guy. Let me not even lie. I, I don't, am, I don't, I don't go to clubs. I hate clubs. I, I hate once, clubs. Once in like six months, and I, I make I'm, sure I enjoy yeah, I don't myself. Do the only times that I've been six months. I'm a man of modest income. It's not for me. I'm a it's woman. Not... See, this is where I like <laughs> patriarchy. I'm a woman and I enjoy. You enjoy patriarchy. Be... Sometimes we have we have few benefits. Wait, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have a moment. No, 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 no. We have no, 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 a no. moment. <laughs> no, no, Faith, no, no. Please help me. No, what I'm saying is, we have a no, moment. No, 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 no. You are saying. Let me let me you let enjoy me patriarchy. I, I, there are benefits. I love it. There are benefits to patriarchy. There are. Especially wow. Ones for us. Wow. For example, all Ooh. I need is to just get a call from a friend, and the person says, "Sarah, let's hang out tonight at Pavilion." Or it, what really? And I know that one naira from my pocket is not coming out. Yeah, thanks to patriarchy in that moment. As a I woman, how, how do you benefit. determine who that's, to go to the club? Patriarchy do, no? it, it, it is patriarchy. It is. That's the only reason. How many women pay. call you to go to the club? Exactly. When you go to the club with women, who pays? Uh huh. It's with, when I I've never been to a club with a woman. Exactly. You know. With women, like friends, girls. Like I go with a bunch of if, women. Adia, if you and I go to the club now, who would pay for the drinks? Oh. <laughs> Definitely not. I, 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 I think you are you are um what's it called a modern woman. It will split the bill. <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm not splitting bill with uh, I don't know, you. <laughs> so that's why I like to respect myself. I will not hang out with someone that's not my guy guy. That will pick the bills. Yeah, my guy will pick the <laughs> And they will, they will invite, it has, it has to be someone yeah. that invites you out. Yeah, I mean, when of someone course, invites you out, the person of course, is obligated to pay. What do you like in the clubs? I just like the idea of being drunk and having fun. I'm not like being in clubs and making only selfies and stuff. Like actually dancing and you, being you guys with be, your guys. Do you see tweets about like he hates Lagos clubs or something that everybody's just there for me? Truthfully, yes. Like so, I don't go to the club as often, right? I, like I said, once in six months, maybe once in four no. months. I don't go to clubs. You often. try once in four months. Yeah, but I make sure that you try. I make sure that the few times that I I enter a club, I must have. Like, why am I not sleeping at home? If I'm not, if I'm, you understand, like yeah. I'm outside of my house, so I should have fun. Dancing and just getting drunk. And I don't understand the idea of clubs, personally. Just have fun. I, I, don't so really, I, I don't enjoy it. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand what clubs are like. I don't, my friends make fun of me, right? They make fun of me because they will say, Fanny will say, they go out. Because I get there. Don't you like dancing? I can dance I in my dance house. Clubs. I dance at home, but it's not the same thing. It doesn't. So no, I know my own problem with Nigerian clubs. The only club that I enjoy going to in, in Lagos is Hotbox. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I go to in Lagos if I want to go to a club. And dance. I don't dance. I what, mean, what's special about Hotbox? I just don't enjoy, dance. I enjoy the atmosphere. You dance. Why am I dancing? <laughs> Lani Badge, like what? You shouldn't dance. Yeah. <laughs> what did Lani Badge say? She, she, she doesn't see, like. Not she doesn't like to, men not, that dance. Not to defend her. <laughs> I understand where she crazy. was coming from. She's disgusting. She's disgusting where the man dance. I understand where she was coming from, I promise you. What do you, what do you understand was, about it? I understand so where she pay, was so coming from. So now man, now man won't get money to dance. dance. Don't you see that's patriarchy? <laughs> I don't know why you can't dance. Oh, you're laughing. Say there are wow. different kind of dance. There's, there's some dance you see. And you're like, oh, cool, sexy, nice. She didn't contextualize. But then there are some that like you see and you're like, bro, what I the hell? It. Why? If I, I, like, I, I, I can't it. even dance. So I, it get like, it. I get what it. What are you Everybody doing? Is. You can't dance. At all. So what are you going to do on your wedding day? Oh, when they say you should dance. Epe, Kaji, I'm going to practice, actually. I'm going to practice for what? I don't know. Something that you have not done for 30 years. You're not dancing in three months. Yeah. Are you learning ballet? <laughs> no, I think the salsa. I think it's just salsa. Sober on your day, you salsa. But can you move to the beat at least? Yeah, I can. It just gets a bit complicated when my legs get involved. <laughs> but, but I can. I think. Oh, I, you I think I'm improving. <laughs> but and uh, but if I'm going to like my wedding day, I don't know why I'm talking about weddings. But I'm going to take you dance class actually. Queen Shut the fuck up. Queen Ad- <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. Queen Ad- <laughs> This nigga has been flexing on everybody. He has a beat. You know they keep, they keep saying this. Now only you confess that you relationship. Know. They all have like you all have partners and nobody asks who you guys over it. But me, I'm the only one Corey that motherfucker will pick up the phone and call me on the random afternoon. Who? Corey. Corey. <laughs> I said, Ajayo, you have been a hassle to everybody since you start dating that girl. But you don't come out this and call me. Ajayo, why don't you come outside anymore? Because, because it's I, I've not seen you. Is it true? I mean, the way most relationship is that if it's still in one, it's private oh. at least. <laughs> don't but worry, don't you, worry. <laughs> 
I mean, we know Queen Adele. And so, we, like you, you we guys randomly I'm, tweet about like, her. And like, oh. You will know celebrity. I'm not saying I'm a celebrity couple. I'm just okay. like, oh, <laughs> celebrity. Fact, and that's facts. Oh, and that's facts. So that's facts. You guys are You walk into that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm saying like, you guys know actors that post their women and stuff like that it's not like it's not special now you guys just we just like to point it out though i did did this thing i did that thing no we just like to see that soft side of you oh yeah, like, i always show I've, i don't even have to be honest i don't have your side yeah. he's not i don't have even have he's it. not like yeah. you, you don't have a hard side i every man should have a hard side that you should show that when balance yeah when in demand but I don't necessarily go out and show an aggressive, you know, this no, hard I, I don't think I don't think anybody sees you as aggressive. However, oh, you'd be surprised. Good, it's good to see that you have a sweet, soft. I think it, it balances your you. brand. Yes. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. When I was at Pulse, people saw me as a very angry guy. Yeah. Because yeah, the yeah. only thing that they saw me do was critique crit- yeah. music and talk about bodies. Do you yeah. understand? So this one, it doesn't have any center, <laughs> right? For you. You will critique music, give it to people, and then they will see you cuddling your baby. Yeah, you just know. randomly tweeting about oh, so what my, she I mean, got look, to you. And like, they say, my wife. Yeah, you know, I, I think you know, said, how did I say that? You, 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 you said your wife. Oh, no. On your birthday. Somebody, no, I didn't say my wife on my birthday. You said your wife on your birthday. You said your wife. 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 You that people are saying he's forcing it and some people think that he's just trying to do it for conversation as what a superstar I, I i don't think he's using it for branding i think that i think it's more of personality than branding. i think he's building a persona he's trying to become i think he's leaving that young man he's becoming like that youth adult to becoming man. a bit of yeah, he's become more adult and, and he needs to do something that convey that adulthood and you know stuff that maybe he wouldn't necessarily do when he was 21 20 something that he wouldn't do 24 24 so 24. He's, he's becoming more grown now and he wants to grow my stuff and i think the smoking part is, is is part of it like and i think it's not i don't know if he smokes marijuana or stuff but i don't think he's uh, i think it's secrets yes. yeah no, yeah and, like you see other guys come out with marijuana a lot smoking yeah. public but i don't think i don't know if he's in that he's no mention that names boldness. please yeah, no, definitely you don't, we don't so he's, he's into secret and I, there's that personality part of it I don't like to see it as branded that maybe he's trying to build he's trying to build like he roll out stuff I think he just kind of like trivialized whatever he's trying to do and I think he's maybe going through something I don't know like when I look at him I, I genuinely cannot help you go through anything I mean there can be a coping yeah, mechanism just be a coping mechanism I really do hope he's doing okay because it bothers me I mean maybe not like too much but I think it's becoming too much you see him every time with the secret and he's always drawing it and so it's like, like some, some <laughs> it appears like, okay, why are you always now into this secret thing? Like there are people we know that this is their thing. They're always smoking, but you, it has never been your thing. So if I thought you did it, it was indoors. So why are you now stepping out? Like you're coming out like, okay, I smoke and I need you guys to know I smoke. And it's really, I, I think it's disturbing. I actually do hope it's fine because it's 24 and it's <clears> done since that 24 that might be unprecedented people at his age before him the stars before him they have nobody no at, nobody before, nobody at like, 24 did as done was romantic yeah. as done yeah nobody's making yeah, the kind of money, money he's making when they were 24. i don't even think it's the money thing yeah that's the biggest afrobeat song of all time yeah and, and it's that, 24 and that, numbers that, wise that the money. yeah and i'm saying like the the success and what it brought him like it, that 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 would do a lot to a young man at 24 that kind of money that kind of attention that kind of fame we do a lot to a young man, and I don't know how he's handling it. And maybe the secret is part of it. I just really do. <laughs> the secret. What do you think, fine, Sarah? Honestly, I don't know. But then my first thought was he might be going through something, like what Adiyo mm. said. He, truthfully, mm. he might be going through something, mm. or he's just, or he might just actually be living his life. You know, and I feel like if it wasn't Rema, maybe it wouldn't have been this much of a big deal. So there's also that part where 
this young boy might just actually be. Yeah, like, but you, I know, mean, you know this thing about people who probably don't smoke before and when they start, or, not, or don't about, do anything at all, and when, when you start, like even sex, even, I think, I think, that's why even going to about, church, man. even anything. People who don't do this thing before and they just start, they. Mm bring attention it excites them you know so oh. just maybe he's going through that excitement phase of ah so this thing bad like this like or maybe he just feels like he looks cool i don't know i, I, really I think it, it, it kind of looks cool it looks cool it can look cool I mean, we've seen and, it, it's, and it brings conversation you've seen so. people or take cigarettes, cigars and stuff like that. This it's kind of like gives you this. Someone trended this edge. Uh, for smoking a fucking cigar, bro. Yeah. Why were you in a bad? Yeah. Shout, yeah, out, and shout, and out, shout out to Chief Farouk or the other. There's been a lot so going on about that man. No, we are going. Yeah. That's that's our next topic. Okay. We'll come back to it. <laughs> why are we Why are we talking about that? No, we'll oh. come back to it. Don't worry. <laughs> um, my thought is, what was Drema when he came out? How old was he? Or what was he like? What was the brand? Like a cute young. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It was cute, little cute, young. cute little boy. What did you used to carry? Teddy bear. Teddy bear. What did that connote? No, it's just young and... Yeah. It's cute. The brand appealed to a lot of young women. Did yeah. it not? It did though, it did. Yeah. Do, you guys, do you guys remember that date thing that I did and the amount of girls that yeah. were battling to go on the date? Applied to, to yeah. yeah. Do you remember? One, one person Dada won. And eventually or so. yeah, oh, was that the person that went? Was that Nigeria? Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. oh okay. I think so. I think so. They went on the yard. I think so, yeah. Hmm. The next phase of Rema. Since I think I change, I don't want to be no I think that was the last time I saw it with the teddy bear. That was the song he performed on Colors. Fame. Now, the brand kind of evolved. To this, it was a it was a bridge between cute and confidence and kind of bad boy. That's where I met him. Does that make sense? Cute. Yeah. Because the cute thing came, even though he was growing, was becoming this superstar. He had a Lemma had a larger than life persona. This was just before Raven Roses. Yeah, yeah. just this before Raven Roses. This was where I met him. Right. I so Rema, um, do you guys like remember? Do you guys yes. remember? I'm like, oh baby, oh. Can you take it easy? <laughs> Oh, I hate champagne. Man. See, Rema is the perfect younger guy for me. Are you serious? <laughs> How did we get here? Don't come close to me. God damn, man. How did we get here, bro? I just think he's so hot for a younger guy. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, Rema, get All in right. touch. Okay. Don't get in touch. Get in or touch. maybe get in touch. Okay. <laughs> it reminds me of um, roast of Justin Bieber. This woman that was eating on him then, eh? This man that went to jail, Snoop Dogg's friend. Bro, um, Martha Stewart. Yeah, Martha Stewart. They call me. <laughs> Bro, the roast of Tom Brady is the ghost, though. I think that's better. Like your favorite roast? Yeah. No, I think it was No, right. no, the one I watched recently. Yeah, like, you like the, the roast of no, Tom Brady? They had like four good sets. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're like three or four good sets. The. Was Which it roast? Natasha Leggero? Which that roast? Was there, of Tom Brady. The roast of Tom Brady, the best ones were that guy at the end. That's. That guy that wore a big buckle. I can't remember the comedian guy. I can't remember his name. A guy, are you sure he's not the woman? The girl, that's um, the Nick, lesbian Nicky, woman from Nicky Atlanta. Glacier, I think. Nicky Glacier was, Nicky Glacier was the best set. I don't think Nicky Glacier I was the best set. But did you finish it? I finished it now. Definitely. The guy that finished and said it was like King Kong and the, the, something Kong and something Kong had sex and they had the guy that destroyed yeah. Andrew Show. That's the guy. That was the best. <laughs> yeah. Nicky yeah. Glacier I was the best. I didn't watch it. No, no, I you need to watch it. The Kim guy Kara destroyed. Part. I love that he stole. Everybody. He stole Timmy that. that um, they, they, they Gronk? They read a Gronk. Gronk. <laughs> so me, me, no, it's me not no, real no, money. Me, no, it's not real money. No, it's not real money. Me, no, it's not real money. That's fucking. You know why they're roasting Gronk? Because Gronk is on a TV show and they always ask. Yeah. Sorry. So Rema, I think whatever you say with Rema, I don't think there's anything inauthentic about it. You don't think there's anything inauthentic about okay. it? Yeah. It's not it's not anything for us. This is yeah, I don't think it's a gimmick. It's yeah. just living his life. It's not yeah. a gimmick. It's just yeah. living his life. And one thing that can that you can see and say for real is he's twenty four years old. And he just had the biggest, like I did, you and you, the two of you are doing that He just had the biggest Afrobeat song of all time. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There's a type of money that you have. <laughs> yeah? There's a type of money that you have that you genuinely stop giving a fuck. I know. Genuinely. Before and before. imagine that mm-hmm. you had that money at 24. When I was 24, I was young, dumb, and fucking stupid. Same. I was young, dumb, and broke, like the Khalid song. Do you understand? <laughs> when I was 24, Same. I was not dumb, child. I 
Wasn't when I was 24. No, I mean compared what? to yourself now, you were dumb. The, okay. the, year, the year I got called, I was 23. I can't imagine creating the biggest Afrobeat song of all time at that time. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Being young with so much money. Let me tell you something. The things I would have done. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the crazy. things I would have done at that time because i was i'm calmer now i'm still not that calm but I, i'm calmer now i know what i want at the time i didn't know what i wanted i only wanted to do three things which were have money mm. travel the world and fuck baddies bro top of the line so bro. let's talk about this fucking baddies what, what exactly I really want to understand from men's perspective what exactly does it do for you? What does it do for you? So why why you, I don't why why do you, why are you saying Rema is hot? He's hot, but like I'm not saying I want to fuck him. Mm, fair enough. I'm not saying I want to fuck. But you said you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I didn't say anybody's name. <laughs> yeah, but still, like, but for you guys, it's actually a thing. Which yeah, it is. Actually, a thing for most guys. It is. Um, but why? So, my theory. I think human beings generally, I think mon- the concept of, I'm not saying monogamy is bad. I'm just saying monogamy is <clears throat> it's a learned trait. It's not a natural phenomenon. I don't think so. I'll break it down for you. Some people might be, right? Some people might be monogamous naturally, but the concept of monogamy was created by the real estate industry. How? Thank you, because they wanted to sell homes. Our great grandfathers in Africa were not monogamous. Monogamous is not monogamy is not an Africa. It's not an African concept. It's not. Foreign civilization brought monogamy to us, and the reason why monogamy became a thing was because of real estate in foreign countries. They I wanted see, to I sell homes. I disagree because if no, you it's take not, it back not, to the beginning, it's, it's when not, God not, created Adam, it's not about you. He okay. made Eve. I'm, he I'm didn't not, make I'm not Eve even talking and Evelina. So about chill. For I'm not talking about the biblical perspective now i'm christian as well do you understand i'm christian but what i'm talking about is facts you can research it you can disprove me right african men were not monogamous african women were not subjugated they were powerful before the white men came and the missionaries came yeah i heard that they were not yeah Yeah. african men when they came and decided bringing christianity into people African people had religion. They had their own religion. Their religion doesn't say people should have one wife. They could have as many wives as they want, as long as you can take care of the wives. See, uh, what I think when no, it just comes to these men and give, women... Give me a second, give me a second, please. I won't, me a second. You're not hitting the give nail me, on give the me head. A second, give me a second, give me a second. I don't think human... So that's the first part. The second part is... For, for men, I think society still allows men to be polygamous or polyamorous or whatever right society still men still get a pat on the back for being polyamorous the older you get is when you realize that this shit is actually not profitable to be honest stupid it's actually not profitable the, when you get older it's actually you realize that choosing one and just living your life is probably the best decision you ever make right but a lot of women can't do the same thing as men because society places female morality on a pedestal and society emphasizes that you shouldn't do this because you are not going to find a husband if your reputation gets out that your virtue has been stolen you honest it's in all cultures across the world white black asian whatever it's the same thing for women across all cultures so, right but the problem you can also then see <clears throat> with liberalism that women also want to do the same thing as men like right now a lot of the concept of wokeness is promiscuity amongst women like you can you can couch wait you can couch it as sexual liberation but at the end of the day if you criticize men and call the promiscuity it is still promiscuity at the end of the day so everybody wants to, it's it's i understand because it's a desire it's so an as, insatiable desire as, give me a second it's an insatiable desire thing right so i don't nest the 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 idea of men fucking bodies is a preeminent thing that men are just following it's a it's a natural thing it's not because you are it's not because you are trying to how do i put this feel, feel good about yeah yourself. it's just because and another thing is once you get to a level as a man 
you don't even have to look for it it's going to come to you so if you don't have the discipline to do it is it, are you saying is it true or like there's that like yeah, I mean, yeah I mean. there's that. so if you don't have the discipline to actually say no yes you are going to keep doing it because you have money and you are set and you are stable and the sad part about life my, my friend will go shout out to god i got my go care god i got mine in december it says it's a theory of one thousand men there's one thousand man men for every ten thousand women and the sad part is women are more than men <laughs> But still, like there's just this the way he said it, like oh, I just wanted to make money, I just wanted to travel, I just wanted to oh yeah, that's, that's like yeah. I don't get it. It's like what exactly is it ah, about? Like, it's still the saying. same. Like anyway, it's not the same. On. It's not the same. Well, mm, it's still the same. It's like I you already you. said. Like there's nothing physiologically. There's like, but it's it's a <clears throat> it's a. It's a whole. I don't want to sound denigrating. I get that's what you're trying to say essentially, right? Like yeah. it's still the same whole. Yeah. But it's not the whole. It's the person. Still, I don't get it. Cause and like then, you hardly hear a woman say, "Oh, I just want to make money, be with all the different men." Like we just. just women are saying it now. Women are saying it now. Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not. As women it's are saying. Women are saying it now and are making it, whatever men can do. Women can do. That's the trend of the it's day. It's not authentic. But like, I don't want to get into this boy and girl conversation. Okay. Let's just move so, on. So, what's your theory? I'm listening. My theory on you were about to contribute to this conversation. Yeah, I was gonna say when you were talking about the like older guys, like our forefathers, like yeah, and yeah, stuff. I was going yeah. to say that I think that polygamy didn't come from a real like monogamy didn't come from a real real estate thing like you said. It does. It does come. You can do your research. I was going to share say that I think it came from the the part where men saw women more as properties instead of persons. So like for them having a certain woman or a certain kind of woman did something for their male ego like so it was more about looking at us from a lens of property that, like of the concept of monogamy the concept of polygamy, polygamy okay. that's what i think and i think that that's wrong so the more women you had the more what? the more the more of a man you felt like you were i mean the more that, of, that of a man cultural. society felt you were as a matter of fact, the more respect if you, you if you had a lot of wives, it was viewed that you had the wealth to take care, take of, care them. of them. Yeah, I mean, things fall apart. I mean, it was there. <laughs> I'm just glad that we're done with that phase. Are we? So we are trying to be. Are we? We are trying to be. In done a world with that where phase. women. Did you see someone say that I don't mind being his, his fifth wife to Farouk or Yagba? Probably just catching cruises. It was? Yes. Okay. yes. You will just see. Just catching cruises. It's not okay. that deep. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay. It is what it is. Just, okay. People do things because they. They, they can and i mean there's never been a good reason to do anything men never. want to sleep with a lot of women because they can't sleep with a lot of women statistically it is in their favor uh societally like, culturally yes. it's in their favor yeah, society also pampers favor. men for doing they it they get and a lot of passes for, for being promis- yeah. promiscuous women yeah. don't get a lot of passes yeah there's not a lot of scrutiny into the sexual issue of men the way yep. like so society has made it easier for men to you know to be hosts than to be promiscuous yeah for women Call it what it is. men be, just get back into order it yeah, so, make, it's not doing anything and your, for you your women just, like you can make it like some people make a case like Tony is like trying to see possibly maybe try to say that like society for example like in terms of conditioning of a man like the way you grow up in the african or let's say in the nigerian society like your condition your social conditioning already makes it seem okay for you to be a whore as a man like it might not be morally well, I don't justifi- think it's, I don't think Wait, it's so, the same it thing might not now. be morally justifiable what do you think what do you say you don't think it's like i think it has changed now it's, it has eased off a bit <laughs> now people think things change but they have not changed. There's still a, an 18 year old girl, you see, they an 18 year old boy in, sec- in uni and still wants the 18 year old boy to pay her bills. How, when we say these things, how sure are we? It's not that how sure it's, are it's we. It's not about the loudest voices on social media. It's, I'm not Mutolani. talking about social media, I'm talking about life, real life. And I'm saying, from my own, from my own, like, there are 18 year old girls with 18 year old boys who understand that we are still teenagers and growing. <sighs> it's the truth. It's yeah, actually the truth. It's the truth, like, but you guys are so quick to say, "Oh, uh, eighteen-year-old girls want an older man to sponsor her or want the boy." No, there are a um, lot more eighteen-year-old girls who are just still <sighs> enjoying with their even seventeen-year-old boyfriend yeah. and just enjoying being young. Let me let me, let me let me break something down. I don't disagree. I see what you're saying, right? I think you make a good point. 
and I'm going to back it up with facts and start again. Ah. There is there there was a report that I read some about two or three years ago on what's the name of that platform that that folded up the big one, but but uh, Buzzfeed. I think I read it on Buzzfeed. Yeah. Right. Buzzfeed doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, Buzzfeed. Yeah, I think sure. Buzzfeed filled up or something. Or maybe they cut a lot of their stuff. I can't remember. Actually, I heard, I heard some bad news from them. Some, some time ago. And the report was that Gen Z was more interested in relationships than we... Are you Gen Z? No. Okay. That Gen Z was more interested... I'm not millennial in... either. <laughs> you are millennial Z. Zillennial. So that's what it's called? Yeah. What year? What year? 96? No. Don't, I will not be announcing my age like this now. You're safe, man. Nah. <laughs> don't worry. Nah, I don't understand. What is that word? Really, you don't put a uh, date on women and wine. You know? I don't and know what you're saying, no, but I'm just not announcing my it's age. It's fine. It's not I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What was that? Um, so, what Jay-Z I was saying. Were more interested in so, relationships. Jay-Z was more interested in relationships. Jay-Z, they seem more interested in relationships for like other gratuitous things like because they want to create couples content, fear of missing out, all of these things, right? And there is more PR for relationships than amongst young people. Like <laughs> <laughs> like couples Sounds co- like you did it. Me. Yeah. No, I didn't. Are but I sure? would have done it if I wanted to. But I didn't. Um um Yeah, couple content. So couple okay. content, all of these things, um make there's more great PR for relationships now. There's more women saying, I don't, I'm just a girl. But we've always just been girls. You wanted to fight men at some point. But okay. <laughs> I'm just a girl. You know? All of these things, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, even though they are more interested in relationships, it's still not the rule of the, of the, of the minority. You see the general rule. Say. And the general rule if more than anything right now even even though like five years ago stats were revealing that a lot a lot more women were like maybe not as interested in like maybe coupling up or like settling down a lot more men were not and i think now it's men that are not because they don't see the points because now liberalism has made women not be what would they think women should be um there's still the concept of hypergamy across the floor across the floor the concept of hypergamy which suggests marrying up right and it's more prevalent amongst women so men are doing it but it's more prevalent amongst women women marry up but you're trying concept. to make it sound like it's a bad thing if a woman I'm doesn't marry no, up no, no, it's no, a no, big no. problem no, for no, no. her I, oh so you know that absolutely i know okay. that hey, and you know that too <laughs> i'm, I'm I talking can't speak about for dealing women. with a man's fragile ego i can't speak with if the guy women, is not no. up if the guy is not up you are not going to be happy. I there. can't speak for Don't women. Go into that. So that you, you agree with that? It's safer. So you agree? Yes, it's safer. Okay. So so then why were you arguing that? But I'm just saying, find your person instead of you, the man meeting three or four or two even. Okay. That's my own point. Okay. But the point still remains <laughs> that if uh, hypergamy you are saying is you are endorsing it, and every woman knows. Doesn't that defeat the fact that an 18 year old girl or a 19 year old girl will stick with a 19 year old boy? Doesn't that enact the fact Doesn't that? Doesn't that defeat the fact that a 19 year old girl is going to st- keep sticking with a 19 year old boy? But she can't be. It doesn't. She can't be. These people are. See, my world as a teenager is not my world now. These people are together and they are having fun. It does exist. They are not. It does exist. Uh, Trust me, it exists. Sarah. It uh, exists. Can we move past this? It exists well. Can we move past this? Let's move it past exists this. just as much as the other one. Let's move past but yeah, let's move on. I don't Shout want to talk to about okay. this. Shout out to everybody. You are I wrong. Think, I think at the end of the day, right, everyone needs to, like, you need to grow up in your own definition of grow up. True. That's what I understand. I feel like being growing up for people differ. I think right now, I think the reality are, is. Yeah, and I think we are at our generation, by our generation, I think possibly maybe a bit of millennials, 35 and under, like 35 to like 25. I think millennials is 1981, 82. Yeah, I'm just like millennials that are 35 and yeah. 6 to like 25. Yeah. I think they were like more infertilized compared to our parents, and I think it's economically yeah. driven. Yeah, I think we have people who are 27, 28, they're still not being able to do get good job, decent jobs, you know, do it, live a decent life and take on the responsibility that will actually Plus make them Nigeria act their age it, because so. of that economical factor and, you know, some still live with their parents and so this kind of thing doesn't actually, like, 
force you to grow up when you're supposed to grow up and <clears throat> so it's now going across and I, I don't say across board but you get to see like men hacked even across both genders but at younger than they should someone is 31 32 it's actually it's, it's, a like a child, it's a pandemic actually it's a pandemic you're still acting like you, like you <laughs> cannot have communi- you can't communicate properly you can't apologize properly you're still trying to be you know trying to be cool see, like I, i'm not saying it's wrong to be cool i'm just saying, like you're still mm-hmm. obsessed with keeping up appearances trying to like like life comes at you fast before you know you i think it was david Dean that liked to say that stuff that life comes at you fast before you know you're 31 32 like retweeting it's Gen Z that would say for that and arguing dance. with them online so it's like we're very infantilized as a, like our generation when our parents were at our age they were getting married at 27 and having and taking houses care of their and family taking on members. view view life tax the men 27 not the women yeah I'm just saying like our parents like the men yeah, yeah like 27, 28 they're getting married you know taking on actual rules economic building rules in companies advancements yeah taking like my father's older we, brother we built a, a magnificent edifice in my hometown at 24. yeah we don't have that and it's like kind of a massive yeah. house but i think that's where gen z is lucky gen z is also not like you see like some gen z people doing so well for themselves at 22. because the opportunities there's a democracy there's a democracy that. of opportunities yeah. right now and the entry point to wealth is much more it's much lower than it's yeah. ever been at well, any we point. we actually sure. have more people who can assess those opportunities than those who can. Yeah. And also, another really? problem that I think is, it's also selling people a dream that everybody can do it when everybody should. Like, now you everybody... Think everybody can do it. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, it's giving people the... Op- the, 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 the the it's selling people a a figment that they can all succeed as influencers yeah like because it's the in now everybody's rushing to yes. be that yeah. whereas tech too, like, like that. tech media everybody's rushing to what they think to be cooler media. yeah people are still rushing. I mean, content creation is it's just yeah, digital that's media now like, several versions of media yeah. quote and unquote what they think to be digital cooler the cooler job right the cooler jobs yeah. they are running to like it. even music so, like working in music working yeah. in music is now cool it's cool it's cool it's cool, and cool, and now. And it's been cool now why are you saying now no cool? no no there was it's more appealing there was at information some points, now there was no money there was no money in it and there was not a lot of money in it and there was the jobs there were not going to pay you huge salaries yeah, this, their jobs the majors now. were not always around. The majors left the country in the early to mid nineties because of economic instability and military rule. They yeah. left, right? And the companies that were around, all due respect to them, but people that were working for them don't exactly have the best. It's very informal they as were, well. They were bootstrapping. They were not. The bosses were good, but I'm not sure the salaries were good. All those things. But now the majors are back. Everybody's money. aspiring to exactly. You guys are chopping money. money. You can actually like you can end the decent living. <laughs> and, you can end the decent living and everything. So exactly. I think like across generation, as I was saying, like so it's it's really I think that's it's very difficult for people to you know to find people someone they can like. Maybe someone who is putting themselves out there and say, okay, I want to connect with a partner. I'm looking for a partner. And then you keep going across different people. You keep different, meeting different men. I keep wondering what's happening. Like, like the lot of men, but like the lot of men, the lot of women, but they have very limited options in terms of what you actually want. And, mm. and Just people are mad Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and so, again, it's men would, men has that past, that societal past to be host. And I think right now, it's more, going, it's more elaborate right now, self, because it is. I'm, I, I, I think it is because, say for example, now women, women are like, women know what they want. So like a woman who knows what she wants and she wants a career man, good looking, career driven, doing well for himself and stuff like that. And women every are, woman wants. Ca- that. Yeah, they kind of like leveling up. You make to it sound to like every man doesn't want a career driven, good, not really. whatever woman. No, not really. I mean, but that, I mean, that's not even the point, <laughs> not right? Really. That's not the point. And like, but okay. if a lot of women are like, more women are trying to kiss trying to like a lot of men are trying to mar- marry women that don't have career and will just sit at home and bear children that's yeah, what I mean, a lot of men are trying to do that's what it's some truth. people that's what some people want <laughs> some people, some people, people want it, do you see the well. tread, do you see the red pill content floating online that degrees make um homemaking and having children make you more valuable than than degrees crazy shit is happening you need to you need to start reading things online I mean, it's not. It's you need to different, listen to. You need to listen to more shit. <laughs> yeah, but as I was saying, so men like, like, so maybe there's like a demo- demography of men that 
happy to more women successful yeah. good looking yeah. have it all have it together so yeah. for example now let's say we are like quote and unquote your old boys who are as money and stuff like Please, that yeah no no i'm trying to give you a context um, i'm trying to give you so a context wait, Adayo, s- do you live in a bubble but what well, he's talking about responsible men here. No, he's calling I'm Yahoo like boys. Why? No, he's, he's not talking about re- nice responsible men. He's stuff. talking about men that have the means. They have the means and they weaponize it. Both responsible and irresponsible. For example, do you think a lot of women, do you think all women care the source of someone's wealth? I mean, they are a group, they are group I, of I don't people. want to talk about this men and women thing. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, I'm oh. just saying, the group of people don't <laughs> Let's try me on. Let's move on, but I don't want to, I don't want to get Yeah, to so, basically, like... like mention your boys. We're talking yeah, serious. I'm just saying, talk, like... Talk your boys, I'm saying, like... <laughs> We're talking serious. Even serious when it comes yeah. to them, like, just... When it comes to them, they are a type of women that they are appealing to. It's a it's different fact. market. They are appealing to a t- particular type of women that those are the kind of men they go for. Adia, yo. We are acting like it's, like, it's like a lie. It will shock you. A lot of the women that you think might not be interested are genuinely very interested. I don't blame them. Like, someone told me, someone was arguing with me one time and said that, sorry to cut you short, someone was asking me one time and said, um, they have a problem with women that that sleep with men for money, all of these things, and that the women that, that, that get rich and all of that. I'm like, I see the moral problems with it, but times are hard <laughs> and the problem is there's a market for it yeah the there's always supply. been a market for it and the markets will never run dry yep right and because there's a market for it and there's a girl somewhere who thinks that life is going to be easier by just opening her legs i don't necessarily i don't want someone i don't want my daughter to do it i don't want someone close to, to me to do it but it's the reality mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to shame you. The only problem I'm going to have with you is if you now do it finish, you get rich, and you now come online and start doing aspire to require, and then I I, I, I work for my money. Mm-mm. Don't come and start so doing what do that you want shit. To come out and say, oh, I fucked Keep my money. Keep quiet. Go live your life. Me. And be wealthy. Go live your life. Say whatever don't you come want. and lie to young women and sell them fake dreams because you are not selling them dreams. It's not working. You are telling me that you went to go and do a, a BBL in Bahamas that cost a hundred thousand because you are writing books. Are you joking? But how many book people bought the books? Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move on? I don't want to. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Ladies I'm and gentlemen, we're about to go on a break. <laughs> Everything you miss on the break is going to be out on Monday on all streaming platforms where you get your podcast. Google, YouTube, everywhere you get your podcast. Still with me here, Sarah the Sarah. Sarah the Sarah? Sarah the <laughs> Sarah. <Sarah-de-thera. laughs> you can't say it. Anymore. And Adayo Adebi. I was going to say shout out to Shiva. She was working. She was working. Shout out to Shiva. Adayo Adebi. Our resident critic, Mr. Fax Only. Yeah, Facts I, I, only. I, I do more than this. This episode people. was still brought okay. to you by Shiva's Rigo. We are back. Still with me here is Adia Yadebi and yep. Sarah De Sarah, my eminent co-host for the night. While Melody is AWOL, when you see Melody, her life. see her at the airport, collect her money. See her in Nigeria, she bring her. some rants. You see her in SA, collect her money. Rants. Melody, buy this episode was still brought to you by Shiva. It's still being brought to you by Shiva Shrigo. Please continue It's good. Continue it's good. Yeah, so, as I was saying, so I said, um, so now, like, in the pool of those dateable men, I'm going to I'm going to uh, attract like a more like a bigger pool of women. They are now weaponizing that, which now make them shitty. Yeah. That, that, so now we now have like quite shitty men from the pool of dateable men. And yeah. so yeah. shitty men don't even have anything to lose because when they are done with their madness, they still pick another good girl and yeah, so I, I just think I think I think it's can difficult I, to not I see that way. Well, I think this is the last thing I said about this women's stuff. Honestly, I'm you tired. Fell in love. Trust me. You fell in love with a woman and you... So that was, not she fell off you. What the fuck are you I talking about? You. But anyway. Not anyway. So you think it. there are more decent men out there than women? No. Men and women are equally trash. <laughs> but that's not the conversation that you want to have. Um, I agree with you. There's a lot of trash women, men out there. I agree with you. Just because of the things that I hear from some of my friends, some really crazy shit is going on down here. Especially from men you don't even expect. It's not even that it's not even that. It's just the stories that I'm hearing from my friends. And some of the stories is I think the one thing that I really don't like is 
lying you're just lying you want something else you're lying that you want something else i don't like that personally whatever you want however it makes you look say it right and there's this a lot of and a lot of my friends as you can imagine i'm 31 this year when i'm 32 in july mm. a lot of my friends are either late 20s or they're in their 30s already yeah. a lot of them are older than me that they genuinely want something and yeah. their time is still getting wasted that yeah. shit is very frustrating yeah. maybe i'm biased because they are my friends that i love i guess maybe like your friends are you talking about men or women girls women, women. Girls, okay. women right that I'm, i might be biased because i love them and i know them right and i i don't know what they're like in relationships but i know them and i i vouch for them to an extent that they're solid babes yeah. right so i know that i love trash women out there i'm trash men out there yeah. but for a lot of my masculine friends as well <laughs> my male friends there's a lot of wild women out there <laughs> they wait now the problem is just that men don't tell their stories as much as women do that's the sad part um there are some stories that i hear about things that i'm like huh like the what i can't lie to you in the last two three years the wildest cheating stories i've heard from women in relationships from are from men and it's about their girls cheating on them the wildest ones but then those men that they are co- see this i don't yeah, i don't feel no, no, bad no, no, when no, men no, no, complain no, no, about women no. cheating on them and, and that's and that's I, part, and i just promise wait. you and, and why just why do and just wait zero emotion why, I, just, why? I don't know why uh, uh, there, because and, you guys don't have the moral don't, standing to i, I it's and i don't feel problem. anything now, when we mention the them. exactly I'm sorry. exactly and that's part of the problem so right? like you, because you, now you your morality you? your no, morality i wouldn't encourage it wait. but i'm just saying like when i, get, I, I get, hear I get, these I stories your, I mean, your subjective like, individual I, I, anyway, I, I, so yeah. I don't support it neither would i like promote it but i'm saying when i hear these stories like when a guy is complaining about how a girl did this and in my mind not in my mind if it's my own friend my own friend i would say but you call at least me maybe your guy i know you're just saying you did okay but wait, what, so why oh, suddenly why are you yeah, acting like your you world context, is over yeah that's what i'm saying that the guy was yeah yeah but yeah that's but what i'm the, saying the things you, why you the places, like your own world but the is problem over. is the places where you don't have the context you want to project the same yeah, that's reality. the issue that's your problem now mm, well oh, you got caught there no, um, I um <laughs> <laughs> well i just some of the like I know a friend of mine <laughs> that seriously in love, all of those things. The girl cheated, lied that she got raped, caught an STD, and later, bro, and later was saying like some some really crazy first class stories, and stories where someone is in a relationship. I'm seeing them with a celebrity, and I'm looking at. But I'm, she could I'm, just be hanging out now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. They okay. could just be hanging out now okay. with her fave. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, mm. so I don't like this infertilization and canonization of women. I don't. And what I like is that a lot of feminists also don't like it because you are saying that women are not capable of bad behavior that's what we're essentially saying and that is not true i'm just i don't i, 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 we just have more men I am not there i don't think stupid. that i don't think there are moments <laughs> i don't think there are moments that i think the story of men get told a lot which is understandable because for a lot of men the stories that they go through is a shame it's a shameful thing to them do you understand i get with you. the men the women can tell their stories because it's a lot more acceptable but why is it acceptable because men have fucked up so much i don't that think when so. it, no it's see check it when a woman when women when a woman the complains the about a man guy, yeah when a man yes. cheats, you know, when, when a woman, a woman complains cheats, about a man normally, like yeah. it's exactly it's like yeah. okay sorry it happened to you but it's what it is but when a woman does it to a man it's a big deal because that's not it's not normal it's not it's yeah. not it's not it's not about it being a big deal it's, not it's normal, about yeah. it not being spoken about enough because of the stigma that's it nigeria has the highest rate of paternity fraud in the world after jamaica how many stories have you heard personally i have not exactly a lot, not a lot. do you understand uh, see i'm not trying to deny no, that there no, aren't bad wait, women out there give, give don't me, miss give me that a second, give me a second it's not about like if we have 
if we have the second highest rate of paternity fraud in the world, that speaks to a lot of moral bereftness. Does that make sense? It does. And it's and I'm not saying I don't I don't like it's just a canonification that is not real. It is not real. It is not real because I'm not even sure it aligns with what women should be because now the moral pedestal that you're putting women on still continues because you want to believe that men are the only ones that are capable That's of That's not what no, I No, no, no. Said. Give me a second. Give me a second. The tweet that they are sent to me was that there are lots more quality men, women than men. I don't agree with that either. <laughs> I don't. There's a lot of trash women out there. And it, the problem is just that a lot of women think they are the prop, they are the shits. <laughs> and life always proves everybody right or wrong. Or wrong. That's the problem. Life. The only thing that will humble every, everybody is life. Do you understand? Because bad behavior is bad behavior. Bad behavior. If you don't change the bad behavior, you will keep jamming it. See, I get you. This point you are making, it does make sense. However, the point still remains that when it comes to the numbering, mm. we just have more better women out How there How do than you men. know? And what's we, your we, number? First of all, we have more women than men. So let's let's start the end. Yes. <laughs> so first of all, we have more women I than agree. men. So that's the, that but, ends the conversation. But Moving on. Size? I don't and have you, one. We can't, we can't, you can't just say moving on because so even within your friends, your friends, if you use your friends like your friendship circle or yeah. your mm-hmm. as like as a case study, you possibly agree that there are more decent women absolutely. than men. Not possibly, I'll absolutely agree. Yeah. Yeah. If I do the friend, same what? thing, I don't have a lot of female friends what? anyway. But if I'm going to use the ones I've known I am not, from school, uh, listen, I'm I, going to I, you don't have to make thing. me an enemy because I don't want to. Shout out my friends. But why are you? What's the? Why are you being so dramatic? Because what's you can't this? kill my. You can't kill my reality. There's a life that I that I experience that is different from yours. Whatever it is. We know that there are yeah, shitty women out there, and we know there are shitty men out exactly. there. Exactly, that's what Th- we should be agreeing on. I agree on that. Yeah. However, what? <laughs> <laughs> however, <laughs> we, when it comes to the numbers, we have more better women out there. But let's move on from. Where's, what's your status? What's your statistics? Moving on. Where did, you, where did you bring your statistics? Please, I'm not melody. Moving on. No, where did you bring your statistics? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Please. I know you're bad ass melody. I'm this time now. Please, please. <laughs> where did you bring the statistics? Movie, from? don't worry. Let's no, move I'm on. asking a question. I agree. Okay, you win. No, she's just like there are you more win. women than men in the you world, win. so it's that okay. makes Let's it not, the fact that increases the, the chance. It's, chance okay. it's not right. about me not wanting it's to okay. understand. Say from your perspective, I said. All right. We are going to. We are talking about Farouk Oriagba. Uh huh. What do you call his son name? Farouk Oriagba. Oriagba. That's his son name. That's his name. Okay. Shout out to him. Oriagba, the friend of. Did the you guys old. think? Do you guys think? The friend of the old. Friend of the what? Oriagba. Agba means old. Mm-hmm. Elderly, okay. Le- uh, the wise one, or so mm-hmm. to say. Wise one, Agba could also mean Agba Bola. Cool. Yeah, How much Agba could also mean like <laughs> someone that is better at doing something. Okay, yeah. okay. Do you guys think they put influencer markets in their hand? Behind him. <laughs> what? Hmm. what I don't Maybe at the thing. beginning, no. But I think eventually headed there. Because why am I seeing his baby picture with a cigar now? Why why was I seeing videos of his interviews? Like, mmm. At the start, I don't think they did. Yeah. But as the conversation started going, it felt like they were recycling the same caption. Yeah. I know, it just felt... Yeah. It felt exhausting for me. Like, okay, the man did... To be honest, that shit was late. The man did look... Fuck! The man looked nice. I don't hate on it, I won't lie. The man looked nice. Yeah, it yeah, looked really it. cool. It was ice cold. And yeah, I appreciate it. And my favorite woman was, like, that was, was that woman that wore D&G glasses. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite. No, yeah. that man was my that favorite. Woman that woman that wore D&G glasses. I saw the woman. I saw the woman. Bro, when I saw the price of the D&G glasses. <laughs> I think it's $1,000. Yeah, so. $950. 950 yeah. But this person someone posted nine fifty, and I think Mr. Asimota posted Oh well. on the of $1,000. I love I fuck... But my, the sad part, so Farouk Oriag, but shout out to you, sir, wherever you are. I also heard it's a cancer survival. Yeah, I heard, Bone I heard cancer. that. Bone cancer. Big deal. I heard he just think. got the tattoos as yeah, well. Yeah, I got it at 50. Like, imagine. If it's it, 50. Yeah, he got it. I think in his 50s, it's, it's over 50. It's over 50. Yeah, it's over 50. Can't you, bro? It's like, a single man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a, I know, I know he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a middle-aged man. I yeah. don't know. I, I, I just really agree. I, I, I love the fact that it was celebrated. I love the fact that 
we are not selling all of our culture to white men at least yeah you know and shout out to Neve Agbim is that his name yeah. the photographer guy that I covered mean, I think I think year. he was the one that covered it last year yeah, exactly that just made the that, cultural yeah. preservation that happened last year with yeah. him is what expanded and exploded the content this year in my opinion the, the marketing world it starts like limited expectation. I don't think they, they spent money on marketing I think because it did it last year people just rushed there this year yeah like I'm saying like it, it, we still like government put some money on. behind it oh. it's, it's going to get huge so do you think that is it possible that it's Ogun State government no but let me say that do you think it's whoever was sponsoring the event that put some money on influencers for the Faru Koryakba content no I don't around. think so no, I don't think you so. You think he was one doing it I think himself? what happened with Farouk happened organically. Initially. took advantage of it. Who, though? Probably his guys. I don't know. Well, his PR team or something. Like, he's a big man. I think he it's... But who, the, who benefits from it? What is his business with going viral? What does he have to do with it? Mm. Well, I saw content I know, about... Have, I mean, I saw there were people who were saying... Do you guys see that post where people were saying that... Goldberg should sign him and stuff like I saw a lot of Goldberg can pay his money. I saw okay. a lot of tweets like that. I think he might Goldberg he might have socialist uh, I say socialist socialite ambitions. He mm-hmm. wants to be a socialite. Yeah. And this, I get it. This kind of like gives him that like that, position in that's um, to want the to, like, if he shows up somewhere, you know when like those kind of people with vision used to cover their events and stuff like that. It's kind of like positioning for that. I never like I never thought about it in terms of like Me too, like I never there was did. it was it got inorganic at some point. I uh, mean, the way I, s- I, I see it, I thought it got obsessive at some point and it got irritating. I th- I, but it's not new. What exactly was irritating you? Like, it, it was, people it, were just excited. It became, no, a, like, it's it became, okay. a, it like became it's, a cliche within it's a few It's cool. Hours. The man killed it. Like, can we just appreciate it and move it beca- on? It became a cliche it's, within It became few obsessive hours. when they started fighting each other over it and started insulting each other. And, like, I have inside so information in single. Got... Then somebody was saying, Okay, so that, oh, that, that you, babe, that babe that, 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 that posted that he was single, was anything wrong with that? I'm not Let's saying, be honest. I'm not saying because I feel like people came at that girl with so much anger. Like she was just like sometimes I think social media has gotten so toxic to the point that you can't even have fun online anymore. Like there's nothing wrong with her yeah, saying, Oh, I yeah, heard that he's single, you girls. It's just look what and move it? on. What she said. Okay, move me. Move on. I, I I think it's not I think it was honest. Like I think it was maybe inevitable because of the way social media is designed that they won't dig into his personal life. I think like if everyone was like me, his, his niece did, was sushing a lot wrong. on that day. Would have left it oh, on the, was, at the I picture. Didn't see, it. see, even if even if he was like the fact that he was single, the fact that a girl said, "Oh, I, inside that info, he's single and whatnot," it's not a big deal. Guys, move on. But everyone was just trying to score cheap points with it's it and make it look media, like she was. Why do you think that was the case? I don't understand. That's, the why is what I don't know. You don't understand. Yeah, like why? Like why, why can't people have fun like, online anymore? Why people are battering? Yeah. People? Oh, it's because of it's the it's, the, it's just like a motivation or a latest version of the gender wars that go and on. And that gender That's just anyway, Because like, sure. now, like, it's the girl, the lady saying. Uh, so inside that information, I had a single and it's also stinkingly rich. He works then, in finance. Then now, that what, rich what was, was the problem? The, that rich was an issue because they'd be like, okay, this is 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 why. It's, I'm just like I don't give it's a fuck. Understanding it's the problem, it's people's. You don't just act. That's you just try to like get to like profile what people act the way they do. You have exactly. to like understand what's triggering understand them. Understand what the problem so is. It's the, that rich was triggering them because they felt like, oh, now you get now it's a rich man. man. Now you want to update another man. Yeah, you Whatever, want to date. Uh, like, so like now nah, because it's rich, it's cool. So just boring, understand. man. Just I just boring. exactly. I just think that people people are crazy. But however, I would rather have the as much as I think gender wars are stupid. They're unnecessary. They're unnecessary. Maybe not stupid, but they're unnecessary. They're stupid and unnecessary, but I would rather have the gender wars over the tribal wars. Now, the tribal <laughs> wars, that was We'll where, get to the tribal wars that was in a minute. We'll get to it in a minute because that's where we're really going to. Yeah, that was disappointing. Right? So, with the girl, let's be honest. I think, I think part of my problem with social media is what a lot of conservatives used to accuse the liberals of. They're not guilty of it. Like the rightists, they are guilty of it. Like what? They accuse the liberals of, of, of being disingenuous, and now they are being disingenuous. Does that make sense? So, the conservative conservative culture was the most popular in the world at some point. Liberalism came to sort of right the wrongs of conservatism. Yeah. 
then they went too much. And then liberalism came back because conservatism was doing too much. Right? And liberalism started then doing too much. started <laughs> Started doing so. Yeah, it's just, just like right because it's, it's nobody's yeah. fault. It's just the human condition, yeah. and anything you give too much power to is going to abuse it. Absolutely, that's the problem, right? So what then had to happen was liberalism is now coming back because concept, libra, um, conservatism because, yes. is coming back because, because liberalism was doing so too much, much. Yeah. right? And now conservatism is doing too much. I don't think conservatism has gotten to too much. Have yet. you seen red pill content? Uh, Bro, do you know the wildest thing on social media right now that blows my mind? What? Someone can tweet with their full chest that you raising a family is better than you earning degrees. That is insane. <laughs> but that's not doing too much. What? That's not doing too no, much. Like no, no, no. It makes, it makes you a better woman. Okay, when you say you, you mean me as a woman. No, that's what they're tweeting. No, I think it makes you... Someone will come out and say, what's a woman earning... A woman make becoming a homemaker, uh, becoming a homemaker and settling your family makes you a more valuable woman than than getting degrees. That is f- like I see that shit. As and I'm bad like, as, as crazy as that is, I don't think that. Yeah, is I, I think too I much. agree with Shira. It's like it's like okay, it's like maybe. Yeah, you don't think that's too much? No, I think it's. I think it's. it's, I think it's maybe it's I'm not stupid. as right. Maybe I'm not as. I think it's stupid. It's trolling. But it's yeah, trolling. It's, it's stupid. Much. I don't think it's and trolling. No, I dare you. I'm not. I'm saying like they're trolling. That they are motivated to throw the leftist idea. Exactly. That's what they are Maybe yes, no, but I, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think trolling. Much. I don't think trolling is the word that you're yeah. looking for. But I get what yeah. you mean. So yeah. now, why I why like in terms of like maybe being too much when you ju- like juxtapose it with liberalism is that like it's not active. Like it's still passive and still it's, fits, it's still an idea. Yeah, and it still fits into the general idea of converse, conservatism. Exactly. Yeah. That's, like, that's the point exists. I was trying to make. Like, yes. When it comes to liberalism, like as long as like these people are, people are changing genders, people are identifying <coughs> as things it. that don't, don't exist. Like, that, that doesn't mm. exist before. Like, like that things that didn't really have like things that is not that doesn't really make sense to a large collection of people. But they want to force everybody. I saw a man recently, which which is another conversation that we're going to have, was he got a surrogate a man a transgender woman got a surrogate she's a man a, now but she was a woman she was no, born she a was woman. A, she was a man but now she's a woman but now she's a woman i think that's a transgender woman I think. yeah no right? that's a transgender man no i think that's a transgender woman. Oh, that's, that's a transgender woman that's a trans woman I, I, yeah. i'm, I'm working that's off. a trans woman <laughs> so it's, 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 when it comes to liberalism it's, it's very active it's very active like i have a friend in the in the uk who just like traveled and like he was talking about how that is inclusive language like ladies and gentlemen is being phased out and you have to use distinguished guests and stuff like that things that are inclusive of the men women and the other the world has gone genders bad, that bad. are in between right so when it comes to liberalism it's very active they are actively trying to change ideas conservatism is just saying just restating yes like if someone so said that is not too if, much if someone say if someone say don't go to university go to uh, marry marry a husband like okay it's stupid in the context okay, of so you, modernization you, you, you guys are but if you go me, back to it's so, happening all over so, the world so you guys are telling me that yeah, the yeah. reason why well, traditional shocked, so to say the reason why i'm shocked by it is because the world became liberal is that what you're saying yes yes that's yes basically yes basically that's, that's it but i but that's still insane yes it's, it's an insane, insane thing to say bro it's an insane thing to say Farm. I I consider myself. Okay, let's as pause. Let's let's start off with why do we think it's insane? Because you are limiting a human being's identity to what you want it to be. Do you, as a person now, forget what the world says? As a person now, do you think that a woman in your house, taking care of your children and the house? is not more important than a woman with a degree that's a good as question a person. that's a very good yeah. question i would like to think that who i am i don't think i would want to marry a woman who's just satisfied with being in the house but just, do you just, know that being in the house is it's a more rewarding a, experience aside the fact that it's even rewarding which it really is because it is eventually the kids grow up and love you more yeah. but aside that do you know that it's actually a very stressful it's a job it's a job it's a, it's more than a job exactly yeah i agree so. but but <sighs> because the truth is if we're going to be very honest 
the truth is to be a thriving career woman you have to whether you like it or not find a lot of assistance and help with doing your domestic duty family as work a wife. yeah and you that requires a lot to. of support from your spouse exactly yeah. you're you have to so i don't think that a conservative saying that is a problem i just understand so where they are coming from like, it even, makes sense i'm not even coming from the conservative or liberal arm um, right i'm coming from the concept of human my concept is humanity that's what I am. It's if there's, so a, if, if there's a thing as if there's a thing as humanist, mm -hmm. right? That's what you that's are. What I so am. now let's leave it as humanity, right? right? right. As a humanist, are we looking at it from an angle of you believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I personally I look at I'm um, Christian. All the I, way. Exactly, I look at the way life should be from the lens of the Bible. So forgive mm -hmm. my bias. No, I don't. I'm not, I'm not forgiving. It's, it's valid. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So now let's look at the concept of a home. Yeah from god's perspective that's what god says that's what god's idea is but i don't think god is also against a woman that wants to chase her dreams absolutely not exactly. however i don't think god is against a so, woman who, who wants to sit at home exactly what we are saying, not who wants to yeah, who but, has to yeah but what we are saying now is a lot of men think you don't belong in anywhere other than your own a lot of conservative ideas you don't if you are not good enough if you are not doing that does that make sense it does make sense like, however you are not I doing your value so here's what i think right yeah. what i i get where i get that statement yeah. however i don't feel any emotion towards that i don't feel any rage or anything towards that yeah, woman, i just I believe it. no no i'm not i'm not unfortunately as sad as it is i'm not a homely woman like i'm not into that you're not very touchy feely or that shit. Yes, I'm not. I want. I hope I get to be. And people say when I have kids, I will change. I'm so you looking, don't have any matter. I'm looking instincts. forward to it. But yes, I don't have that. However, That's I on, it is. Yeah, I don't have. For that. you, I, um, you ex yeah, saying, you would yeah. expect me to because of how yeah. But like I'm saying that here's how I feel like when you say you are a humanist, I think I am too. But this is my own concept of humanism, right? When people make this kind of statements, is to pause reflect and understand where they are coming from I hear you. it's not an issue this is what you want right find a woman that believes in this a lot and move do. on and a lot of women do and as a man if you feel like you can't be with a woman who all she thinks about is the children and what you eat when you come back from work there are so many find other women a woman, a find a woman who no so no, let's no, all Sarah, just Sarah, let's Sarah, all just Sarah, feel, Sarah, let's just that's, that's work like Sarah, Sarah, i so wish Sarah, that's how the world Sarah, was Sarah, that's Sarah, my Sarah. point so you are not wrong i just have my point Sarah, you are not wrong you are not wrong. I don't know, just give me like two minutes. You are not wrong. Does that make sense? But what you are doing is an idealistic viewpoint. Does that make sense? Where everybody gets to leave and we are kumbaya. Everybody gets so to leave. So the problem I have is people projecting their own opinions and their own perspectives their biases. on others. So exactly. And that's what I'm and that's what this tweet is. Which is what you are not getting. The tweet says the value of a woman is more determined by how much she makes the home than the degrees she gets. So means if you are getting degrees, you are not a high value woman. According to this person. According to the theories that are flying around no, that a lot of young men are buying into. So this is what this is what I want you to understand. This is problematic. For somebody like me. For somebody like me, so I, I don't. There's a lot of things I see on social media that people get riled no, up over I hear you. that I don't understand. Facts, yeah. So Facts. you say Facts. that good for you. The girls that agree with you will go with you. Move on. Like personally, yeah, but, that but then, doesn't but then you bring any problem, emotion but then, but then to me. You, you had a problem with a, a discussion that we're having earlier, which was which, is, which was still a theory, which was just still a theory. Let, which let, was which let, was which let, was. Let me yeah, add something. something. Right, you know why what you're saying is idealistic and it doesn't like necessarily work. I would like to, I'll draw like I'll use like maybe economics to draw a parallel. For example, now so. Now, capitalism is considered the, the easiest and the... Oshie, champagne and shivers in one night. Capitalism is considered the the foremost way to create wealth for a for The a most community. realistic. The most realistic, the yeah. most, like, the most, most tested, trusted, practical, right? So, in the capitalist society, it's okay to have communist ideas of your own. You have but to incorporate when, other things. Even. Yeah, like, but, I mean, if, but if it becomes popular, it becomes it starts becoming a view of life D -law. Right? So, D -law. yeah actually i have a law degree so. D -law. <laughs> you try not the law yeah it's actually the law, of you are the law yeah so now no, that's the thing with ideas right when ideas become popular they start becoming way of life and when you start becoming way of life they become 
we start becoming cultural and become the status quo. And when we come, start becoming the status quo, then people start losing what they fought for for years. For example, now when someone say, oh, it's okay for women to be in the kitchen and that's where they should be. Yeah. And now this person is a red pill movement. So red pill people, they have a lot of followers in terms of what they call incel men. Men who are kind of like, they don't, they're not masculine enough. They kind of like feel pathetic to themselves, right? Or that, I don't want to go into incel men. Let me just say, they have a lot of followers. Now, if these their followers, follow what they see, it becomes a way of life, right? And now they now affect other people. And, I have and now, a lot of you are now, so women are fought for the right for people to go to school. to be free and have free will to free. do whatever now, but now the way the world is right now eh? we've got into this no let's finish please. sorry so sorry. now so when sorry. so when so when this when those men and people who believe in those things start affecting it right it becomes that like women who naturally should even be willing to should be able to make their own free will they become subjugated now not just the women they are married their own daughters they raise them like that they raise them with an idea it's now passed down and that's why people now come up with counter ideas counter and fight it right and that's like that's how that's like philosophy has always been from natural school to positive school everybody is fighting ideas, and countering something ideas become it never ends. Like, it's not always, it's not always as easy as say okay like green is yellow and i'd be like okay fine if green is yellow if you say green is it yellow, can also be orange go with it that's not like you so, go with yours so, so it becomes that, that like if you say green is yellow today you're going to wake up and see it this thing tomorrow so it becomes a way of life it becomes it now becomes I th- a problem no, so i was gonna say that i think the world has gotten to a place where one person's belief system hmm. cannot i like where this is going <laughs> one person's belief system cannot affect Def- cannot determine the entire not, world. exactly yeah. i think that I that's you. where the world is now I so like it really doesn't make any sense aside the fact that you're hustling for elon's checks or some likes and comments on tiktok aside the fact that you're looking for some clout no i hear you no, online. So no like, it does become cultural that, i'm going to give you an that, example aside the fact they're looking for some clout online yeah. the truth is when people say what they say I feel like we know ourselves at this point as i just feel like as adults at this you should know what you believe in yeah you but should wait, know let what me, you let believe me just in everybody right? focus on what you need to do and yeah. don't pay these people any heed that's, yeah, that's all happen. it doesn't that's work I, it doesn't I work wish that like that so everything you, everything you are saying it doesn't work everything like you that. just said 100 right Fact. That's how I'm actually operating you just in my know, world. No, no, no. But you are one person. That's actually how I'm actually you operating in my world. Everybody's like, like you. you are I one see of things online and Sarah, I'm just like, why Sarah, are you guys you are riled one, up are one of, You are one of 8 billion people. And of the 8 billion people, over 5 billion is under 19 years old, reportedly. Yeah. That's a lot Even of Nigeria, young people. Use Nigeria for that's a of lot people. of young people. Of Nigeria are under 35. That's a under lot 30. of young people. Do you understand? It's a lot. So, I don't. I think you make... A very solid point, but I am not woke. <coughs> I am not liberal, as you can tell. I think I am. I, I, I think, think I'm are. in the right. I'm I in think the middle. Are, I, th- I think you are probably like center left, center right. Yeah, I'm in the that, middle. Right. I th- I'm not conservative either because I see some thoughts and I'm like, mm. me, mine is not. It's not. That's even, a problem. I never seen that. Right? Like conservative or woke. I think I'm, I'm in the middle. I think I'm. I'm in the I, I, I think I'm in the middle, but I probably tilt a little more to the right. Like just a little more. I don't know. I, I, I don't I mean just because I think I don't think there's anything that's the right or the left anymore. In my opinion, Thank I you. think there's just the far right and the far left. Yeah, and, what, and then everybody right? else that's reasonable is in the middle. Yeah. Exactly. But Does that make sense? That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's that's what what I think. Right? In terms of ideas, right? Ideas. Me, I think the ideas that can be dangerous and dangerous ideas must be shut down, or at least must be. Like must be faced with counter well, a ideas. a man who says Wait. that a woman without degree is not valuable, do you yeah. think that's a dangerous idea? It is, it is a, a dangerous, dangerous idea. idea to society. It is a dangerous, a dangerous idea. idea. It's a dangerous, it's a dangerous idea. Progression that, of women. That number one, it is. It's, it's, it's Sarah. You are not wrong. Do, let me just establish that first. You are everything you've said. Perfect sense, right? But the problem is indoctrination. Does that make sense? indoctrination into ideas that are, might not be sustainable and don't serve people those doesn't ideas that don't serve humanity for the longest period because i feel like we, when it comes to these statements we have seen how it worked out for some of our grandparents and parents that, well at least speaking from my own side of nigeria yeah. right not to make this a tribal thing or anything <laughs> but, not to make it a tribal thing I hear you. but like speaking from my own side of nigeria you would see that 
where we are from, you train women to get married. I don't know about others. I'm talking about the eastern part of Nigeria. I think everybody still wants to get married by choice. No, by no, no. Culture, Aside that, by but like we are trained whatever. to get married. Like yeah. your your parents who went from don't go anywhere by 400 level have switched to when are you bringing him home? How am I supposed to bring him home when I didn't go anywhere? Do you understand? <laughs> like, <laughs> Facts. Yeah. So like we are trained. And then they are going to your brother that's your age. They are going to hail him for for having a girlfriend. Exactly. That's the one I don't get. Exactly. <laughs> so like. I've forgotten the point I was going to make. Shiva. Sorry. See, the train to, the train to get married. The <laughs> train women oh, to get married. I was saying something before that. Okay, yes. I was saying that we, we were, we're trained to get married, right? So, like, there are people who still believe in that sense. Yeah. And the truth is, it's fa- it it's okay. works for it's them. Okay. It doesn't erode that. Like, I have seen the benefit of this thought pattern. So you are Same not... way I have seen the disadvantages, disadvantages of it. However, I think where the world is now, there are too many experiences. There are too many experiences, not even from us, but from other people that we have seen. For us not to get riled up over this. It's just a thing of, you they decide or you know they decide. Like me now, no man can tell me. I've, I already said it. I'm not a homely person. I hope to be someday. I'm shocked though. Yeah, I hope to be someday. You don't, you don't, I mean, you don't I like love up. and I like you everything. You don't give off that vibe. You, yeah. don't, you don't seem like it. Yeah. I, no, I get, it, this is a practical perspective. Like, so, I'm not, I want to get married. I don't want to get married. Just like, they are, we're talking about theories that become... That no, become but no, my point is, my point is, I'm not getting riled up over this. However, I can't marry a man who sees me from the lens of you are only just valuable exactly as yeah but what, so that's what, what i'm saying you look Sarah, using myself Sarah, as an example Sarah, Sarah. it, it so should make you sense are not, you are one of, again you are one it. of eight billion people i think that's what they are saying well, and the problem you. is if you put that out enough if you put it out enough especially if so i am also not about deplatforming people i think it's a dangerous thing to do because you are not putting power in the hands of human beings to make the power of taking people's voices i think it's a problem right i am not exactly about deplatforming does that mean i don't want to deplatform donald trump i think it's an extreme case i 100 percent are deplatforming right right there are some people that you need to deplatform but i am not exactly about, i don't know if that makes sense it seems like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm not. If you understand, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, do you understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm trying to exactly like I'm not for deplatforming people because it puts too much power in the hands of human beings okay, to make okay. material decision about the voice of people. Yeah, but there are some people that they are so problematic that you have to deplatform them. Does that make sense? Because if it you does. don't, so it does a greater harm. So to I'm saying that this that. statement. Yeah. doesn't seem to me like that much of a big deal for us to clamor no, for and, and the platform. The, the, the reason, no. the reason no. why that... The, no, 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 Sarah, Sarah, Sarah you are not wrong. Like, I, I, I get where you're coming from, but the problem is there is a lot of people, like, for you to be able to be out here mm, doing your work a daily, a lot of people fought for that to happen. Yep. Does that make sense, yes. right? I hear you, right? And then after they fought for it, another wave of women, people actually came. Some people died for this shit. True. Right? Now, if you are now trying to limit it to what a lot of people have fought for and died for, for we are in the fourth wave of feminism. Some people call it 4.5, right? Of feminism. I don't know what that means yet. I'm still researching it. Nobody has been able to make sense of it to me. Anyway, I, I look at it and I'm like, I am not identified as a feminist. I am not. <laughs> by whatever well, why? Means. When people say this, I want to understand why. You don't believe in equality of no, sexes? That, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't think I am a man. I don't think so you don't I can think... be. I, I, I can't be. Why? I can't possibly be. That's a conversation for another day. Let's focus on but this But why? One. Let's focus on this one. I wish more people were like me when it comes to this feminism let's focus, topic. Let's focus on this. Because why? Let's we're fo- just human let's beings. Focus on this. Let's if fo- you're human, you should be a feminist. <sighs> Shivers. It's the truth. Shivers. Shivers. Wait. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? Wait, like if no. you claim that you're humanist, you should be a feminist. I think the concept has become problematic. And so you forget about what other people I are hear saying. What you're saying. I'm saying you look at I don't it even from... Think, I, don't even, I don't even think as a man... I don't think a man. I don't think men can be fair. But we're delving into another. Doesn't really interest me. I, just, I, don't, I, I, don't, I, I respect the right. I respect the right. That makes me feminist. Oh well, I'm. That, you, you, should, you should. You should just. One? No, no. Yes, exactly. You, you might not Thank call yourself you. one, but do you? Do you respect? Do you respect me yes. as a person? Look yes. at what. Do you know how the conversation that I'm having right now? 
That's it. So we, we, should, we should we should all be feminists, like Chimamanda said. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. the, the reason uh. the reason why that's not a pro- that, why that it's a problem is because it's eroding the very concept of free will. Because now you are conscripting and saying there's only one way to do it, and that's not free will. It's anti-free will. Does that make sense? It does make sense. However, I feel like if we're going to actually talk about the pros and the cons of not seeing a woman as equal to you, note, we're not talking about a husband and a wife. Like I said, I'm Christian. So if I'm going to talk about the concept gang, of... Gang. Yeah, completely. If I'm going to talk about the concept of a man and a woman from a home perspective, from the home as husband and wife, I hear what my you're opinions would differ. Yeah. However, I'm talking in society, mm-hmm. in life generally. I mm-hmm. feel like if more men respect i think men don't respect women i hear you and i feel like if more men respected women a lot of things we're dealing with we wouldn't be dealing with I hear you like that. we're just as human as like five plus five is ten seven plus three is ten How six plus know? four is ten like my point is my point is we we might be different from you right but our difference is what makes the world better so respect me for Facts. that. I the same you. way I respect you for who you are. Ex- let's embrace. Yeah, like but, we are not the but, same. But Sarah, so let's embrace but, but it but and respect Sarah, Sarah, ourselves. Sarah, 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 I think the concept we should be promoting is the concept of free will. Does that make sense? And I'm saying in the... F- no, no, no. Give me a second. I agree with the concept of free will. I agree with the concept of free will. The concept that we should be promoting is the concept of whatever makes you happy. Do that shit. Does that make sense? I agree with that. However, well, that however, happy. what What's I it? unfortunately I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with free will. Yeah. I agree with free, but I just feel like it's a dangerous concept because without 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 the adequate controls, it can easily go out of. I hear you've you. Said it all. But that's the human. That's the human condition of it all. I hear you. You've right. Said it all. You make a lot of sense, but I still think conscripting is a problem. But let's move on from this. We have spent a lot of time here. Yeah. Faru- we are talking about tribalism because that Farouk uh, that was the disappointing part for me. Is it tribalism? In fact, it's not even just from Farouk. Would I would say that? I mean, it's always been there, but let's not deceive ourselves. A lot of us, our parents, are very much tribalist, even though they don't say it with their full chest. They don't know. So I don't like. To a talk friend about of mine was gisting me about the last election and how her mom casually told her that you that you're a child of Okonko and she's Yoruba just because she supported. Because we know who exactly. So, like, you name, would though. never. What do you say? Pension is name. Yeah, uh, yeah, Peter will be. <laughs> but like, my point is, you would. I know her mom, right? But you would never expect that statement to come from her mom. So, like, whether we all like it or not, there's that tribalism thing there, and we've actually been built with it. But the one that I do not like is when it comes to trivial matters. And the one that I do not support is when one person wants to feel like they are a victim. That I do not agree cool. with. What some I mean any of the tribes can claim today your your boss would claim that they are victims and the the Igbos are trying to do so much on them. The Igbos tomorrow could claim that they are victims and the Yorubas are trying to I don't think I there's a, a victim. Very interesting conversation I don't for think you. there's a so be, what I are, don't think there's a victim. I think that the game is the game at this point. You don't think there's tribalism? There is tribalism, but I don't think there's a victim in the in the war of tribalism. The other side is just as nasty as the other side. I hear you. On that. Well, what I can say about this whole tribalism thing is that I think. If, I think it's, uh, I think it manifests because it, it's we've not addressed it at the core of it. Nigeria. How do you address it? Because Nigeria should listen. Be one, you, Ni- you need to listen. To Nigeria should. Nigeria is glossing over things that like. If you use the word there's before, a lot yeah? of historical context. There's a lot of like there's a lot of stuff that have gone on. A lot of terrible things that have happened over the past sixty over years. The, like from the civil war even before that even in terms of not just even between like the civil war that pitted nigeria against biafra but even within cluster of environment like even communities a lot of stuff that have not been addressed and right? smaller no, small and other smaller issues intrastate inside location yeah, so inside local it's government. not it's, so when it cannot manifest at like when the only time tribalism gets to manifest at the national level is during the election and after whoever wins now gets to so i'm saying well, no, even with saying, this election is, is bad however no, what i'm saying i don't I'm have not, a... i'm just trying to like make a make, make a Sarah, point, right let's so, just listen so now so now so when like you get to put your own people there right okay so that's like that's now like a status quo kind of tribalism a tribalism you guys like we have become accustomed to when buari like he's eight local tiers and he now surrounded himself with northern cronies. Yeah. Now that like it was embarrassing and it was disappointing, but no one was losing sleep over it. When 
now we have a Yuba president and he has surrounded himself with a lot of Yuba people as well, right? I don't think anyone is going to lose sleep over that. It's become like the status quo. National, What's like, to be expected? Yes, it's now tribalism to be expected. So now, since that is no longer shock people, tribalism is now coming off in the trivial things. So and now, is and now it's now becoming problematic. And I'm saying like the reason why we are seeing it in trivial things is because we are not addressing it in the bigger things. I and that is the issue. So me, my own tribalism I, doesn't move me can I because say I have experienced Nigeria. Can I, say something? I grew up so, in the north I and I know Nigeria. Can so I say something? No, it doesn't even really bother me or interest me. Exactly. Can I say something? I schooled in Lasso. Can I say something? Say. Can I say something? Did you guys have you guys followed the story of the First World War and the Second World War? Yeah. The reason why the Second World War happened was because there was unforgiveness, paranoia. Um, enmity, um, distrust from the first world war. That's the only reason. The second world, there was a, it was built on the back of a bigger topic, but the entire reason why that topic snowballed into a bigger issue is because of these things that I'm talking about. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a tragic history in Nigeria, which is what Adair is trying to say. You are right as well. Don't just say you're not right is Nigeria's history is littered with things that would not make us trust each other things that are built to make us distrust each other mm-hmm. when we got the independence the first republic the first coup the very first school yeah that's January 15 1966 the very first school was where a lot of this shit was planted. The very first one. I think our tribalism issues started before the Cobalt. I agree. Yeah, I mean, since but that one, we should yeah. have I agree. Yeah. I, that's it for, I agree with you, but that was a moment where there were now active participants who had power to do something about it. Became it became politicized. It became ingrained in national To do something about it. I think, Ni- I think Nigeria was created with this in mind yeah. no, it was created That's my own no i think nigeria opinion. was created for convenience economic think, convenience economic convenience and, and, yeah. and however, government, they, government they, convenient but ha, you know when however you, there was some weaponization of tribalism that's no, not the fault no, of, not that's not the fault not of tribalism. people that wanted nigeria to work it's not favoritism from the people that then snowboard and became tribalism no it, it was def- like when Nigeria was brought together, like I, I don't think like it was an economic Lugard, convenience. Lugard was a tri- it was it no. was big tribal. It was fav- it was his it favorite was thing about that he was in Sudan, he was used to the northerners yeah. and he favored them. So but yeah. that favoritism led to the tribalism issues. Not really. No, no, no. no I, I wouldn't not say really. that. No. I would say I so think the reason why the tribalism we were never meant to be a country at all. Absolutely. At all. Right? That was the first problem. The second problem now is we're not a country. The people that were meant to that are meant to be working together don't trust each other. And then the first school just underscored whatever undertones of what that was. Right? It underscored it in a way and then it make it made it pronounced. Now the people that participated in that felt like mm, these people are not to be trusted. I don't want to mention tribes. These people are not to be trusted. These ones are not to be trusted. Yes, Max Ullion wrote about yeah, it. Sure sure well, so, <laughs> a lot of the problem was it was led by a bunch of young people in the Nigerian military. Right? And some of the chief partic- participants in the, in the coup were Igbo. Right? And when that was about to happen, Namdi Azikwe was conveniently not in the country at the time. And then the person that became president was Agui Yorosi, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, head of state. And Agui Yorosi didn't exactly punish the people. And then he failed to execute he them. He failed to execute We them. should have done Right? So, the bias was built and up on that. not an ask lost. And not an ask lost. Exactly. Like, Tafa Baliwa. That. Exactly. Um, exactly. Um, Amadou Bello, um, Malawi. Um, f- Oh, no, that was not uh, that was not the one that uh, the Cleo Fadri died. No, he died in the in July six. That is sixty seven, sixty six. No, sixty six. But July, there was the first queen in January, yeah, the second queen in July. That yeah. is sixty six. Now, I don't. So a lot of that created the. F- I think 
because now Nigeria was left with it wasn't left. It was already fragile. From, it was already fragile, from but the from that power, regional government, but the power when they did the regional elections, the yeah. power, the co- the things that were confronted after that were now much more personal, and people that had power to do something about it. Did it. Does that make sense? They did it, and then the people that now, now a lot of people that can now do something about it because the power was now in their hands. They can do. They can do whatever the fuck they wanted with it. And now the problem was. The, comp- the country's wealth was growing. Yeah. It was growing. I think in 74, 75, we joined OPEC. Wealth was ridiculous. Did you see the, um, what someone tweeted something about Grenada? Yeah, pain. Nigeria paid. Like, Grenada was in crisis. Nigeria, so if Nigeria is Nigeria crisis, them, if Max will you, you will be Does that make sense? Shocked. So, <laughs> this tribalism shit is from that first school, it snowballed. It just snowballed. The unforgiveness, the paranoia, just like the words, the, the problems for the first world war, snowballed into the second war. That's exactly what happened in like, Nigeria. It just kept getting worse. It existed. It existed. It existed, worse. It existed so, before the first coup, but it was able to be contained, contained because it was left bro, to the region. Now people so now agree. There was now section, se, se, um, sec, sectarian section, sex, um, sectionalism after that period. Yeah, and even and like, now allegiances were built. All of those and things. then it went, it trickled it down was to the whole nation. Became, so let's, so he, let's bring it back to 2024 now yeah. and how tribalism comes up in something as silly as a hot man That's where smoking. it's going to come from. That's what Adair is saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm, let's so, take it back to this so place now. Problem. So I was going to disagree with Adair when okay. he said we, we need to come and have a conversation about it and we all need to address it. Okay. Personally, I don't think that's going to do anything for anybody. What okay. it's going to do? What to I think, to how, I think, how I think we can curb tribalism in this country is we're going to start from the ground up. What, what's what's the ground up? The ground up is every individually we need to understand You're that it is no no I, my I point is that. no 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 this is how i so i'm, I'm speaking from a place oh, of how i'm going to handle how i wish society was maybe maybe i'm speaking from wishing you because i'm thinking society. that because i feel like and society in fractions i think out is how i, I just th- pull people together i think that the issue. i think i think that society in fractions if i'm looking for the right word to put to use but like if our different fractions are doing what we should with no, common sense, that's how we like work. That so I was saying from the, a place of what did I was so going to say up, up call itself the I was pa, gonna, um, positivist theorist. I was, no, 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 I was no, no, actually no, I was going to no, say no, that's actually positivism. Yeah, but when he, the this thing the was this um, this thing where the what was this term this term where the government and the people come together like the Marxism. I'll, no, no, no. I remember. I remember. I remember. Social contract. Yeah. Oh, social contract. Yeah, thank you. Social I was going to say that we don't understand the concept of family i started off this whole tribal thing speaking of so you're talking about speaking affecting of, it from the smallest part to the biggest part yes and i'm, I'm yes and i was saying that That's we, a dream, though. we don't no it's not like a dream we just it is i a think dream. i think Sorry. that we don't understand the concept of family because if we do understand a lot of societal problems for me comes from the home you know that's what i think genuinely so, yes, and i'm you. saying that's, that these, she's not these guys no no, no. She's not i'm saying she's that wrong. these guys she's who are wrong. coming online to some people will say oh it's not even hot that like they feel like your bad boys are not hot so this old man is not hot fair enough some other people feel like Wait, this, whereas the man is hot whereas the man is so damn hot all right all right yeah. and then some other Yoruba people feel like this man is the hottest man in nigeria because no other Yoruba. tribe is hotter than Yoruba. Yeah. and you just know that these things this rubbish people are saying you can, you can even you though just they're not know saying that you can see the this bias. is a this is a living room conversation with your mother and your father Shit. that's 25 years later you're bringing online just, I want us to. I want us to Fast. admit this with ourselves that a lot of these things are from our homes. Really? I like that you guys Where started did the parents from. Get it from. That's my point. I like that you guys started from the history of Nigeria and whatnot. But I want us to be honest with ourselves when it comes to now. Now, like we stated before, like this, the world is no longer a place of liberalism and everyone is liberal or conservatism and everyone is conservative. There's a lot of people that are still either or. That's my point. But however, I just feel like that we have access to so much information now to still be stifled by just one perspective. So I think that with the way the, it's, it's stupid in 2024, Adiyo, 
to be tribalistic. It's not. It is. It's not. It is stupid. It is stupid. It's stupid. It is stupid. No, no, no. It's stupid. Adia, you're stupid. Guys, guys, let's not argue. A human phenomenon. What are you guys saying? It existed from the Romans. Guys, guys, Nobody's saying, see, let's not talk in each other's Wait, okay, so here's what I'm saying, right? It's not out of place. As a human, like you said, it's the same way men feel like they're better than women. It's the same way Igbos feel like they're better than Yorubas. It's just a thing of us as human beings. Human beings beings generally want to be superior to the other person. Self-preservation. I I get that. Nobody's nobody's taking this angle out of it. However, what is stupid is somebody waking up in 2024 and boldly declaring and feeling like just because they belong to this particular sex, Tribe. they are better off. Yeah. That is stupid. Yeah. That's stupid on all fronts. That's the point I'm trying to but make. But that's a human condition. I mean, that, it's bias. And I'm saying it's, that. And I'm saying that. It's prejudice. Human prejudice. Even if it's we just when meet it and have a conversation like Adia is like saying, it can never be effective. No, no, I'm not saying a conversation. What I'm saying is address the matter. No, no, no. Let's, 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 let's wrap. What I'm saying is now. What I'm saying is you say family. Now, where family pick up their ideas is from society. Now, when their, their father, the father that had those kind of things, like now, now me, I won't go out there and be generally tribalistic to people. And I've expressed Nigeria boys I play football with. I grew up in the north. I grew up in Kano. I, boys I play football with that they know my name. They've they were beating me up during Ramadan because they saw me buy sugar cane. So me have expressed that. What oh, you shouldn't buy sugar cane during Ramadan. <laughs> they, you see, that was that's just like they, uh, were, they were fasting. You were. Yeah, they thought I was a Muslim and I was. They found out I was not, and they became very aggressive and they were shoving me around, they were punching me. And really? It was, yes, and it was a security guard from my mom's. When my mom walked, a school she walked. I saw them and said, "Stop, leave him alone." Right. So me, I, have, I know. So I can tell you, I, like, idealistically, I'm, I'm not tribalist. I'm cool, but I know that yes, I will be so around some people and I'll be scared for my life. It is facts. It is the reality of Nigeria, right? And it is not see if. If this stuff that they pick up from their families and stuff, it is something that people pass down from generation to generation to generation to generation. Like they themselves, they're not describe this bias and hand it to their children because it's cultural. It is cultural. So like it's not something a particular family, like you yourself now, you raise your kid in terms of like like in terms of let me let me let me learn. Let me learn, let me learn, right? I'm just saying, like, should I use raise my own kid if you don't want me to raise your kid? Like I'm saying, think of a world where you raise your kid that same way. I that's that's, that's that where I'm going we to. We all in this room. That's where I'm going to. Now way. it is not practical. How? Wait, now, it's not realistic. Listen, it's not. It's not. It's not just only realistic. It is not practical because you raise your kid in a way that in an ideal that is popular, in culturally popular. What forms? You no, know, no. It's. I don't think it's a. Co- it's a personal thing. No. No, I dare you. Let me tell you why it's a personal thing. You, you, wait, the culture you know, people raise their kids in a particular way because it is popular and cultural. But to even in the, if, even, not because even, it's particular to even, you. Even there in, are extra things you raise your kids with. Even extra in the ideas, even extra in Yoruba culture, that are personal to you. I hear you. Even in the Yoruba culture, right? There's a lot of differences, fragmentations. Yes. There's also that. Even in yes. the Igbo culture. So what I'm so saying is that how people raise families, like how a Northern raises his family, is different from how a South Eastern raises his family, and now you have people raise his family. And you're going to find but then I have no, no, like, chill, chill, what I'm saying is that you're going to find sorry. a common denominator. You have more common denominators in the Southeast than like if you look at the South you find common denominators. Yeah, that, if you look at the North you find common denominators because it is cultural. It is culture that influences all these things. Right? So it's not like 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 fighting fighting tribalism is not one of those one of those when uh, what a call to action stuff that you see you as a person fight it on your own no it is see, not, i not, promise wait, you that's wait, the me, only let, way let me finish, let me finish, let me because it is not it is it's because you fighting it on your own and you are on your own doesn't help you it is the truth it doesn't help you for example now if i'm in the north right i'm in kanu and and it's on a friday like they're coming back from the they're coming back from the mocks and some and some crazy guy in france so crazy guys in France have painted a, 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 a picture that they didn't black famous and they are shouting and they are, they are trying to kill people. And I'm there and saying, that, oh, I don't want to be, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm very open, I'm very woke, I'm very open, I'm, I, I'm not going to look at this from a tribal lens, I'm going to look at this from what is going on lens, they're going to fucking kill you. Yeah. They're going to, oh, let, me, let, let me just read, they're going to kill you. Right, so it's going to be like, now, like it is, 
tribalism is like i mean it's a human phenomenon it's a, it's a kind of a self-preservation system but for nigeria it is becoming we use it as a way to fight each other because we don't fucking like each other and 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 why i think the only way the only way for we for us to defeat we can't defeat tribalism the only way for us to address tribalism especially in terms of how it manifests in tribe in trivial things right it, the way i see it is for us to actually address why we do not like each other and the reason we do not like each other is That's political distrust it is That's that simple it is political distrust and a lot of and a lot of a lot of it has to come with admittance of of faults but then a I feel like a lot of us with. will not admit our faults. And that's part of the problem. That's all. That's what I'm no, saying. I don't a care. lot of us will not admit our Sarah, faults. No, you yes. have a person, right? Like your own flaw or your own fault that you think you know that person is dead sea or stuff like that. It doesn't really interest me. Like it doesn't bother me that much. It's tribal, it's prejudice, it is not peculiar to you. Everybody around the world has it. You understand? Like, I don't care. The Chinese are fucking racist. You see, you don't know it's because of their, the, because of their language. I mean, and you yeah. see, the uh, European will not be racist to the Chinese because they have economic power. Yeah. That's why you see Chinese, Chinese written in Belgium to learn or in and European and European f- airport and French because they have economic power. Yeah. You understand, right? So, that, so me, it doesn't really. I'm not going to be a Caribbean and say you see, white people is dirty. It is prejudiced. I don't give a damn. It has existed like even between Ijesha and you. AKT, there are prejudices. If I'm if I'm under like, for like, years, like they say. Ekiti and Ijecha get Agidi. They say oh no, blah blah blah. So I don't like it doesn't really interest me. It is the manifestation. Your rubber people from Ekiti will say you should not marry Ijecha. So but then there will be no manifestation if there if no, there no, are what I'm saying no is thoughts now, like yeah. This. What I'm saying that why it manifests, why it manifests, like why the prejudice manifest, manifests, it is because there's a political space for it to manifest, not because that there's necessarily like there's necessarily no. Like, there's a thriving environment and the people that are that are equipped and ever ready to actually promote it because their biases are aligned with what it brings to them and there's a benefit scheme. If there was no benefits, tribalism will not exist. Yeah, actually, we all find it political. Let's not let's not let's not belabor this conversation. Yeah. We are not going to agree. Yeah. Let me give us a final conversation. Two final conversations. So someone tweets. I'm proud of men in my house right now. We are talking about submitting to your woman. Such a beautiful conversation. Why are we back to men and women? Are we back to men and women? Yeah, we are. Like, what's the question? Uh, you think, what's the you idea? think men... Let me read that tweet again. I'm proud of men in my house right now. We are talking about submitting to your woman. Such a beautiful combo. Men submitting to their women. What do you so think? do I think what... What do I think about men submitting you, to their women? Yeah. Like I said, when I'm going to view marriage, I view it from a Christian point of view. So that's not possible in your view? No, it is possible because what is love? The Bible, First Corinthians. The, um, it's not just in First Corinthians. It's also in Ephesians. A, there are different parts of okay. the Bible. Oh, she <laughs> scholar. So what is, is it like should so, men submit to their wife? So my point is when, when, when we hear this word submit, what exactly do we, what exactly does that do to you or do yeah. for you? What because the mean, Bible actually? says that a man should love his wife. As he loves his church. That's as, exactly. As Christ loved the church. If you're going to actually love somebody, you're going to want to listen to what they have to say. That's think, submission. Yeah, I think that's it. I you're think going to have, have to want to listen to what you're going to have to listen to or what they want to have to say. Yeah, yeah, with that word, right? So I think when it comes to submission, I think it I think it was it on one particular pod that ID Kabasa was explaining the terms of submission or something. I think he gave this brilliant analysis of this submission stuff, like how people don't understand the word. Like so I, I think, think about is a very smart one. Yeah. I think it's yeah, really I think, so too. I think it's I think once it's that issue, that word like like submit, like like it's like slavery. Like people view it from that lens. Like it's like slavery. But it's not it's like, no I'm just saying I'm not saying that is what it is. But I'm just saying like I'm trying to it is Back not you people it's have not. never people will never it's see not submission is not from slavery. the same stuff, Chill. right? So Chill. how I see it right how I see it, right? It's 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 what it's again. It's this thing, and this is the only. It's how you understand it, right. and what you understand right. to be to be able to submit. Like it's do for me now. Do you have a problem as you are there? Do you have a problem with submitting to Queen Adiayo? Stop calling my girlfriend Queen Adiayo to start with. And okay, <laughs> <laughs> you think it's condescending? Huh? Do you think it's condescending? Think like it's Queen Adiayo? I think it's dramatic, and it's just yeah. Just, but she's your queen. 
Shout out to Queen Adiayo. Yeah, so it's just just round up here yeah, before you say something. So yeah, in terms of submitting, right? It's um, see this thing there. Eh, it's 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 not something. It's not something that is that is um that is understandable for a lot of men. It is new to them when you say submit to your women. It is not. I think it's the you, term. I think you the understand issue. where they, okay, you say ah, it's crazy to them, right? And again, that's why this is the time where you are the, the meeting has to be in sync, and you have to understand that. Okay, do you understand me of submission? You understand what it means to submit. Some people cannot even apologize. So imagine not being able to apologize. How will you even be able to submit? So again, a submit now for me is, is being able to actually listen and do what I need to do. So according to Oxford Dictionary, okay. <laughs> you don't want me to talk. You are trying to steal a black to, man's voice. No, I was going to like let's actually understand what let's submission is. Yeah. In the context of a relationship. Yeah. Yes. So this they says submission is the action of accepting or yielding. To a superior force or to the will or authority of another person. Can I come in? Yes, come That's in here. Easy. Words have meanings and connotations. Mm-hmm. And because words have meanings, they can't they can't be viewed in isolation. However, the meaning of words also carry meaning. Like in terms of not just connotation in terms of the populace, but also the actual meaning of what it could, what someone that's the person that's tweeting this thing, what it could mean. So I saw a tweet some days ago, and the guy says, "Give me a second. The guy says, this. "Give me a second. I'm a very dominant person, but I prefer to be submissive for my lady." Not in a sexual way, but in a quote, I love you and want you to have everything you want and need and whatever you have. I will ensure that I will take care of them, end quote, type of way. Let me help ease you on his knees. So it's like the word feminism, right? That's, so that's his own idea that's of submission. That's the definition of, femi- yeah. of submission. It's like the word feminism for a lot of people. I see a lot of people say, I am not a feminist. <laughs> and I laugh. What you do is feminism. <laughs> Essentially. Right? So, I think, but I, I wouldn't equate feminism with submission. The concept of, of submission connotes like the presence of a superior being and all of that dynamic. And because of that, a lot of men are not going to agree to it. But if we are talking about what quote and unquote submission means for men, it might be different. Like the meaning. What do you think it means for men? For, to this guy, I, I subscribe to what this guy is saying. Okay. Right. I'm let's a very have her away. No, not let her have her way. For me, it's just how it just help reciprocal. Her. Okay. Help her. Like help her. First of all, you have to understand her. Secondly, you have to be willing to listen. Thirdly, you have to be willing to be teachable. And then you have to help. And contrib- no, maybe not help. Help is a little demeaning. Play your role. You have a role to play. Help. Just play your role. I can help. That's it. Play your role. So the moment you play your role, you're going to be fine. Right? So I don't... What do you think these roles are? As a man, it depends. Yeah. On what? It depends on... On what your woman wants. What... It's not what every woman wants. It's what okay. your and if you find your woman to be good enough, then you must you have to do what she thinks is the right way to do. Because a lot of people think men are the ones that lead. Yes, we do lead the home, but the people that make the decisions, the material decisions, are the women. Is the truth? That's why I say. Because, that's where loving like, your wife a, comes in. Yeah, there's a guy that said, there was a there was a video that I saw over the weekend. The guy said, when we got married, my wife said. You are in charge of you are the leader and you are in charge of all the material decisions. But guess what? In 35 years, there has never been a material decision. <laughs> that's where, so that's where loving your wife comes in. That's you the point that? I was trying to so make. I don't I don't the submission thing, I don't I don't believe it. Wait, so you think they should submit differently? No, 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 no. Submit differently. I, think, submit differently. I think what submission means is what is going to determine what I agree with or don't not mm-hmm. disagree with. Okay. The submission con- concept of a man being so, being subordinate. I don't not subordinate. Just give me a second. Of being the. I don't want but, to that, but, but that, is that okay 
for in terms of that subordinate connotation I don't when it applies to women. Because your woman will not even find you sexy. True. Let's not pretend. <laughs> let's not lie. Let's not pretend. <laughs> let's not <Yes>. lie. <laughs> your woman wants masculinity. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. Right? Your woman finds your masculinity sexy. Yes. So you you can't be... You can't be swagbe. You can't be swagbe. It's not going to work. <laughs> right? So the truth is, this submission thing that we're talking about, it has to be... It has to be... It can't be what it means in strict sense. You can determine what it means by making your woman feel better, yeah. making her feel wanted, not making her feel like She's every man out there can make her feel. Yeah. Right? I think that makes sense. But if you're talking about this, I, I, I don't think men should not submit like be a fool, I think but word, submit to listen. I think the word, yeah. the word is where the problem is. And I yeah. think that yeah. loving comes with submission. I agree with you. So like this whole drama where I fight, if only we would just read our Bible and do life the way God said we should. Oh, yeah. It's true. Anyway, really particular about your, your, your Christianity, guys. I really am. Yeah, I think we it's are nice. at the end nice. of our pod Aww. of this fantastic episode. Do you know the greatest compliment I can pay you guys? What? Is that I like the the definition of a great podcast is when you don't know when time flies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you, if you are if you are watching, is this time going to end? That's not a great episode. So if, to, if, it, if time to runs fast and it feels like time, it's five p.m. Yes. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, you if, if it doesn't feel like time, it seems like he's having, having a blast. Um, twelve twenty. Whoa, you were yeah. right, oh. Yes, now that's a good thing. That means you had a blast. Time. That means you had a blast. Yeah, we did. And thank you to our listeners and our watchers, Pop Central Channel One Eight Nine on DSTV. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning into the greatest. You don't tune into the greatest. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, he started on a dramatic <laughs> note. So you don't do it to the greatest! To the motherfucking greatest! <laughs> yes. We didn't cost a lot on this episode. We actually didn't. Yeah. We did? We didn't. Exactly. We didn't. Yeah. But we no, did that's at a some fucking point, PC, though. man. Yeah. We're not talking I PC, tend to though. like use cost words sometimes. There's a reason why they put us in this belt so yeah. we can say fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, so I'm trying to. So the, the problem is me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to curb the way I use those words. Fuck off. No, you did. <laughs> anyway, you said it. You did. I, I did <laughs> say it, but I know that I can't. Can you allow me to round up? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, go on. This episode comes out on Mondays. We are live on Fridays on DS on DSTV channel one eight nine Pop Central TV from ten a.m. to twelve p.m. Sometimes after twelve, sometimes starts late after ten p.m. But we love you guys still. We think you are good for rocking with us. Send us an email. You can see our email on this on the on the screen. Um, you have a you have a prize to win. I have a new question for you guys this week. Who is the current brand manager of Shivers Rigo? If you are, give me the answer, I can give you a bottle of Shivers. Um, thank you for rocking with us. Episode out on, on Monday on our streaming platforms so where you get your podcast. This episode was, was still brought to you by Shivers Rico. Get a bottle of Shivers XV today. Thank you. <laughs>